Oh shit, okay, here we go. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison Barton calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me that addict. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. This, I hate 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 this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's, 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 nope, not gonna happen. Oh god, oh my god, it's going to happen. I'm good, I swear, I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Nah, I ain't never been with a buddy, with a buddy. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison Barton calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. This, I hate 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 this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's, 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 nope, not gonna happen. Oh God. Oh my God, it's going to happen. I'm good. I swear, I'm fine. Oh my God. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Nah, I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison Barton calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's, 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 it's,
Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Do you ever just like start your stream and then completely realize that you don't have things set up properly and then you completely miss your countdown, time countdown timer? No? Just me? Just me? Probably. Hello. <laughs> Is Parker having a weird day? You betcha. That's fine. We're gonna play a little bit more of this. Hi, Jay. You are first. How are you doing, darling? Hi. Am I, man? Guess what? It's a Tuesday and I managed to actually stream today. This is impressive as hell, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I had a snack just before the stream, um, fortunately. I'm okay. I have been... I uh, Because I had a long weekend and I had, like, Monday off and, like, obviously I was very disconnected from work because I said, F that noise. Um, which was great and delightful and wonderful and everything that I needed. Um... It meant today was gonna be busier. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm well rested. I'm gonna start working at 7.30 in the goddamn morning. Because I saw that I had calls back to back from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, uh, I did that. I've been a little manic since then. I'm actually really surprised that I've managed the stream on a Tuesday because I know I've skipped the last few Tuesdays because they've all been me having absolute mental breakdowns. I don't know what it is with Tuesdays. This is just a sign that things are looking on up. I don't even know what it is. I have no idea. Maybe it's just that I got sleep and now I feel alive for once, which is an absolutely wild feeling. I don't know. Also, what kind of snacks, BK? We are two minutes in and of course I'm talking about food. <laughs> I think tonight might finally be pizza night. I did not get pizza last night. Uh, I think it's gonna be tonight because I am recognizing I really don't want to cook. Optimism in this economy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm sure it'll all fade. I'm sure. Ju just like my die job, that optimism will fade. Just you wait. But until then. <laughs> uh, I gotta redo my hair the color this weekend, I think. The blue stays brilliantly. Purple fades so fast and it drives me mental. But also, I need to fix my roots. Hi, Jim! How's it doing? How are you doing? How is it going? How cold is it today? <laughs> oh, my life. I wanted to run in and get a bunch of- Ooh, snack cakes. Yum. Love me a snack cake. I don't know what my life is. Anyway. <laughs> I've been healthy today, which is why I think it's a pizza night. <laughs> Every night should be- Pizza can be every night. If you've got pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza any That is never going to leave my brain. Jim, what? No. No, 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 no. That's disgusting, friend. Oh, my God. Oh, that is, that is, that is a lot of no bueno. That is a lot of, I don't love that for you. Um, that's disgusting. Oh my life, I'm so sorry. Truck wouldn't start, had to keep it on a charger for a few hours. Oof. Big oof. Biggest of oofs. I'm so sorry, my friend. That is awful. Oof. Also 5 a.m. I say that as someone who gets up at 6 a.m. I don't know why 5 a.m. makes me cringe. <laughs> 6 a.m. is somehow more reasonable in my head. I don't know why I'm like this. Still need to work on that shirt. Yeah, would not wish that on anyone. That is, that is painful. You deserve pizza, my friend. 5 a.m. is pre-dawn, yeah. Oh, five, five, yeah, 5 a.m. is one of those, I don't hit 5 a.m. Either by staying up too late or going or waking up that early, unless I have a flight. And then I'll consider it. And by that I mean I don't know. I mean, really I know for real. It's kinda like with daylight savings. I kind I absolutely loathe it. My 5 a.m. is your 7 a.m. You're not wrong. 
So if I was out your way, I would probably be up at 5 a.m. too, because I would already been up since 4, probably. <laughs> no, wake me. I'm awake when you're awake, if that makes you feel any better. Hi, Alex. How's it going? We are uh, empathizing with Jean, who has had to deal with absolutely frigid, freaking temperatures. I wasn't sure where I was going with that sentence for a second. As per usual, I have no idea how to speak. Um, we do, we're just getting so much rain again. It's not, but it's way, it's still better than that. So I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm always done with winter, but I think that's been my conversation I've said with like everybody I've talked to lately. I'm like, mm, winter can kindly go F itself. I'm aware I live in Canada and it is known for being the frigid north. But yeah, Arctic bullshit. I think that's great. But I, yeah, then arguably, Jean, you would be, you are an honorary Canadian at this point because I think you deal with more frigid temperatures than some of our our country does. So I'll take Arctic. I'll take anything over Arctic bullshit. Truth be told, it is. It is. Blit. <laughs> it's just a lot of blit. My winter starts in late September. Goes. Oh. No, I'm so like I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I we have I like how I define it is. See, I don't think ours starts until October, and normally late October. Like by Halloween, it'll typically hit for us. Um, which is more like pre-winter. You're gonna get some flurries. You're gonna get the threatening of winter, but it's cooler and it's something of fall. Um. And then the kicker as I was born in Alaska. Okay, so you really are an honorary Canadian then, because we've all but adopted that area. <laughs> Considering where it's located, like, which is always hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, our, our winter starts in, I think, October, depending on where you are, obviously. Uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan will get it a little bit. Like, Alberta especially will get it earlier. Um, which actually lines up then kind of geographically with Eugene, and I'm so sorry. You're in the belt of like, not even belt, I guess the line of like, Arctic bullshit. I'm gonna keep using that BK, I quite like that. <laughs> um, Cause they'll, they'll get it definitely end of September, early October. We'll get it in October, late October. It normally misses my birthday, which is nice. Um, and the very, very kind of mother nature in that respect. Um, <laughs> Oh, thank you. And then you get pre-winter, which is, it's it's just colder, it's chillier, things are dead. They haven't snowed yet. Snow will hit end of November, beginning of December. And then you get your, you get your first few sort of snowfalls and it's nice and still the pretty stuff. If you're lucky, you get a good amount for Christmas and you get that white Christmas vibe. And then it just shits on you through January and February. And if you're lucky, it'll stop for March then revisit for post winter in April, where you will get your final big stupid snowstorm before it finally melts and you feel like maybe you can consider being outside for an extended period of time again in May. Welcome to the Canadian weathers. And then we hit construction, which is a season all of its own. Whereas as soon as that, as soon as it starts melting, even remotely, construction begins again and you are stuck dealing with that instead of everything else you haven't seen snow in years jay do you want to fix that i'll just send you photos a little clue to how fucked your winter is look how high bees make oh cool i've never thought of that but that makes so much sense I'm aware I'm just using, I don't know why I'm using the first like 10 minutes of this just to talk, but apparently that's what I'm doing now. Um, whoa, that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Huh. That's, these are fascinating. That's a whole other, I don't know a lot about them, but I'm always fascinated by them. Um, but that also makes a lot of sense because obviously they're not gonna wanna have it anywhere near the ground, but also depending on what, basically, yeah, how screwed it is. Side note, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I mean. I probably am. <laughs> Don't make deals with me. 
That's all I had for you. My work has not learned that at all. <laughs> Happy Tuesday! To Parkers, to Games, to Faye. Oh, yeah, perfect. Double, we're gonna double it all up. Double the fun. I've yeah, never denied that fact. <laughs> Gene is not wrong. <laughs> so many twos. Yeah, today is a really cool Tuesday. Two, 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 twenty-two, two thousand and twenty-two. Um, yeah, like which is just really cool. And I know in a more cosmic speaking, like it's meant, it's been a, there's a lot of bit of like significance even with it, um, just based on like planets and shifting movement and what that's all really meant and just how impactful this day is, which may be why the manic energy is carrying me through considering I have been up since like 6.30. I, I was up at 6.30. I was not useful until 7.30. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of crew. We are inherently deal makers, are we, Faye? <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. I love it. Actually, so I played a Monster Hearts game forever ago where I was a Faye. So I was just like, <laughs> you want to make a deal? <laughs> but they didn't know I was Faye. It's just very dangerous. <laughs> I love Monster Hearts. I need to play that again at some point. That's a great game. Or run it. One of the two. Just, like, collect all of, all of the real pretty NPCs I've created over the years and... <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Monster Hearts is a great game. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> I take that as a great compliment from you guys. Oh. I am all about the Fae energy. So which came first? The Nine Hells of the Wild Fight. Ooh. Oh, I love First Bite. First Bite was really cool. I just have not had the energy, I think, that I've wanted to put into that one, so I haven't hit, gone back to it, but I am very much, uh, very much intending to go back to it. Maybe on Monday, we'll end off Thirst Month with that. I think I just got, I got very obsessed with specifically Arcade Spirits. <laughs> but no, First Bite was really, really cool, minus me dying after the first hour. Minus the fact that I am inherently paranoid now. But I mean, I was already paranoid. You're not paranoid if you're wrong. That is... Arcade Spirits is amazing. This has been... Like, it's really... It's cozy dating sim. Like, I feel... Dream Daddy was a lot of fun because obviously I uh, gamified the hell out of getting eggplants. <laughs> I was like, yes, eggplant emoji. Let's go. Let's do this. Um... But this has been a lot more, like, I feel like there's more story to this. Like, there was story in Dream Daddy. There was plenty of that. There's a lot more heart to this. This is a lot more feels train, and I really do love the feels train. Um, is it as comfy, co co cozy as maybe would maybe like? Mm. There's a little bit more chaos due to the feels train. But I'm good with that. I like that. If that I, I have no idea if any of that made sense. But that's okay. And also, yeah, you're not paranoid if you're right. But no, so I love First Bite. Really, really good. Really entertaining. Holy crap, it, you can die. Maybe I, maybe I just made bad life choices, but surprisingly easy. Do you know what happens if you choose no one? No, what happens if you choose no one? Do you just become besties with everybody? Is everybody then an option? <laughs> I just want everyone to always be an option. Oh, uh, I, I assume that choosing no one. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Actually, the writer was saying that too. Like there are options. I didn't realize, like, I don't, I, like I knew there was the options for friend routes, but the writer that had been in here, um, yeah, they said that there was ace options because they found it important to them to make sure that was included and reflected in the game, which I think is just like, Chef's kiss, fantastico. Um, like I like, and I love that. Oh my god. I love like I think all dating sims should really have that option, so that way people then have that. Like I just think it's important, so then people feel reflected and like they have that to them. I don't know. I apparently have a lot of feelings about dating sims. Is I guess where I'm going with this. I don't know what it is. Uh, I just do. I just have a lot of feelings when it comes to feelings. 
It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Oh my god. Also, I'm not over how long my hair is getting. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fix my roots this weekend. <laughs> if you see me this weekend, no you didn't. Especially not as I, like, am fixing my color. <laughs> you see me, that's a giant bold face lie. Um, or a pre-recording. <laughs> But no, I love it. Being ace and putting the ace back into arcade. Because technically that's AC. Ha ha ha. It's not funny. It's not even a good joke. Um, no, but I love it. I really love how this game is put together. Um, <laughs> how does one fix their roots? Uh, very cautiously with bleach. I have to go pick up bleach this weekend because I forget what angle my camera is. Camera's at. So you see, like, there's a good couple of inches of brown coming through. But ba actually, so magic. The first answer is actually magic. The second answer is bleach. That is how you fix your roots. Yeah, I kill my hair too many times at this point, though, if I did that. So I've gone very good at being just fairly ginger about it. Like, not becoming ginger, but you know what I mean? I just start bleaching and I'll do a bit of overlap. Um, and then sometimes I'll pull it through a little bit more, but that way I avoid, I just basically avoid bleaching the ends because those are the ones that are going to fry the easiest. This is probably the healthiest hair and therefore I can kill it a little bit more. So, and then I just start my whole dye process like I would normally do it, but I normally bleach it, then leave it for a day to recover a little bit, do a heal, like a hair mask in between if I can. And then, which is normally like something oil based or something like that just to help replenish that um and build it back up again and then i'll dye it on so i'll probably bleach it friday night finish dyeing it on sunday yes it is but and it could be very expensive if you got it taken care of professionally but i've been doing my own hair care my own hair stuff since i was like 15. i've, done, I've had it done professionally a couple of times um but uh i'm cheap um the little bird and sometimes so cost effective really it's not that it's not even cheap it's just with the amount that i do and how much like obviously the upkeep is insane when it's wild and crazy colors that's also why i picked up my own razor so i could do my own sides and back um because obviously that's all shaved and i keep it shaved like that regularly i also have to clean that up too um so i got a razor so that way i wasn't paying a silly amount every not silly but I go to get it cleaned up once every few years, just because I can't see the back of my head very well. So I'll go, I'll get my hair, I'll get the, the cut cleaned up, I'll get color cleaned up sometimes. So I get it like reset fully. But otherwise I do it myself. It's a fun little self care thing, I think at the end of the day for me too. Um, my hair is always one of those things where I start feeling like I can take control over myself and my life again, if I do something to my hair. <laughs> Which I told that to my boss shortly after uh, re-dyeing my hair. And she's like, is that why you dyed your hair again recently? And I'm like, we are not judging me in this moment. This is a judgment-free zone. And we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> my bosses are actually delightful. Like, it's good. We're good. We're fine. But yeah. So no, uh, updating my roots is a bit of a time, is a bit of a process. Every so often, <laughs> I don't judge your hair choices. If you have more resilient hair than me, please, please do that. Because it's just easier if you bleach the entire thing. Because then you can start from scratch. I feel like I always end up frying my hair when I do it. So I, I don't know. I'm just so cautious at this point because I don't want to lose it. I got it cut so short, like, three years ago, and I've been growing it back out since, so it's taken till then. Like, I had it very, very, very tiny. Um, it was fun. It fully reset everything, and, but so I've been trying to grow it back out since, so this is very long. Why is that such a th uh, throw line? If we do something to our hair, it means we're taking control and self-maintenance. For me, it's just because, like, I have full control over my hair. I can't control the weather. I can't control... I can't control what happens in a lot of the environments around me sometimes. Like, I can obviously influence them and everything like that. But sometimes to feel like you actually are able to 
And that's actually why I used to sew a lot too, is because when I was making something, I felt like I had full control over doing it and making it into what it's going to become. It's what I, even with art, I, I have the power and it puts the power in my hands, especially when sometimes we feel like things are so out of our control. So hair has been an easy way for me to do that, but in a way that is also soothing. It makes me feel good about myself. Like I feel amazing when I have freshly trimmed sides and fresh dye. Um, I don't know what it is. It is like, I don't do drugs, but I'm going to assume it's like drugs. <laughs> it's either that or the bleach has really impacted my, my brain cells over the years. I don't know which. Um, but yeah, so it just, cause then also I think I find I hair so much more when I'm doing it to myself and like, and I'm actually taking care of my hair and doing the hair masks and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. But it, it just feels really good. So I'm probably going to be feeling real good on Monday. <laughs> Next week. Which is a great way to end off first month. Which I have like blabbed talk ad nauseum apparently. Mm, that head bleach. <laughs> yeah. Mm, delicious. Love that. <laughs> Love that for me. Love that for my life. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're gonna get back into this though. We're gonna get back into arcade spirits because we have to go take down a corporation. Yeah. We're gonna go fight Bezos. Sorry. That's not what we're doing, I don't think. That's where I've equipped, like that's where I've built this up to is we are about to go infiltrate the enemy and tear him down. Unless he's pretty or she, especially if she is pretty in which case I am in trouble. <laughs> Stick it to the man! Exactly. That's the goal right now. Um, I'm gonna tell them to stick it where they sun do not shine it. I don't know. Unless they're pretty. In, in which case, we'll probably still do it, but there will be some amount of hesitation. And there might be some amount of, oh, you know it's better if you come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Anyways. I told you guys, I don't know what's with the manic energy. I woke up like this. My coworkers are like, you're such a morning person. You're so good. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, we're good. We're fine. Everything is wonderful. Hit the lever. Pull the lever, grunk. What lever? Anyways, I will never not do Emperor's New Groove references. I don't know what it is. I just love them. And I haven't watched that movie in forever. Ah, yes, we were talking about cheese. Oh, back to pizza. My <gasps> bread sticks. Oh, yeah, today's pizza night. I've eaten really healthy all day. <laughs> For all of one day. I deserve some bread sticks. I'm fine. We're good, guys. Anyways. Right. So I'm the cheese. Although... Emperor's New Groove did Ah. That's amazing. I love Emperor's New Groove. It's amazing. And yeah, definitely a breadsticks night. Um, definitely the case. They just made the movie. Is that actually, like... If so, that's amazing. And I love that. Thank you for the hydrate, Jamie. I made it so people had to like leave a message now, mostly so that way people, when certain individuals who tend to be in my chat get a little hydrate crazy, um, they can coordinate their efforts instead, really. I'm aware of how my chat gets, it's fine. Um, but it's mostly to prevent them from absolutely destroying me <laughs> with water. Although my water drinking habits are doing much better since streaming. <laughs> oh yeah, and I bumped up the cost because they were I it almost went up higher. Because of because of first bite, actually. <laughs> because of first bite, I was nearly destroyed. I actually had to go drive and pick something up from a coworker after that stream that night. And it was so funny because I like I see them and they're like, oh, do you want anything to drink? And I'm like, ah, no, no fluids whatsoever. They're like, are you okay? And I'm like, 
I don't know how to explain this to you without sounding absolutely mad, but I have friends who just made me drink a lot of water in a couple of hours. <laughs> and she was just like, are you? <laughs> She's like, that makes sense. But also, <laughs> Uh, and then I told her, I was like, I was like, yeah, no, I was streaming. What are you streaming? Dating Sims. Okay. Yep. I also met her boyfriend that night, too. He's got a great first impression of me. <laughs> but actually does, um, seem to adore me. So I was like, I am a cool boss. It's like the Mean Girls. I'm a cool mom. I'm a cool boss. Uh, yeah. It totally makes sense. Anyway, so that, yeah. That's why it is the way it is now. Also, because I have some big heavy hitters in my chat that, uh, like to threaten, who have been here for so many times. <coughs> Alex. Um, that may or may not flaunt how float flaunt. It's the freaking word. Boast. Yeah, that exactly what Alex is doing now. I'm going to make. I'm gonna like cut <laughs> words. I don't have them. Words are not a thing, sir. Um, I'm going to make a very custom reward one day. Oh, fucking God damn it, Jay. Ah, uh, I love you guys, but also, I drown in your water. Oh my life, the lot of you, you kill me. You quite literally might kill me. <laughs> I will be the most hydrated corpse, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna come up with like a super high channel point reward one day and just like, I'm going to find a way to tempt Alex and Age Dog into getting it. I don't know what it'll be, but I'm work. I'm gonna figure this out. It's gonna be worth it. You look very alive at your funeral. <laughs> the corner. I think we need to do an autopsy on uh, this corpse. They're very moist, and they shouldn't be for someone who is dead. I dated somebody who did. Um, worked at a funeral home once. That was a very weird time in my life. I learned a lot about autopsies and how they do just random autopsies. Like one out of every 10 bodies, they'll just do one on just to make sure nothing is weird. So that's what I learned, or at least that's in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> it's very strange. Get back to the game, Parker. <laughs> wildly changed topics about 12 times. Oh my god, can you imagine? Well, I won't tell them what it is. It'll be a surprise, but I'm gonna make some- it's gonna do something. It's gonna do something wild and crazy, but we don't know what yet. It's a lot. I have a couple of ideas of what it could do. I have a couple of- Ah! Hi Ant! Hi viewers! Hi readers! Hi people! Hi lovelies! I haven't really started the game yet today. <laughs> oh, yay! Welcome, though. And how was your stream? How was it? You're playing through Final Fantasy VII, aren't you? I think you are. Kiri, I haven't played through that game in forever. Um, but welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, how was it? How's it going? I have done... It's grindy, uh. I feel grindy areas can either be really interesting or really boring. Oh yeah, hey, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I think I have a chat message to help some of the people. Um, but yeah, no, grindy is, grindy is as grindy does. That sounds really weird. That's a weird phrase. I don't know why I said that. I have barely, I haven't started the game, and I have been on streaming for 30 minutes. I have just been talking, because manic energy is driving my life today. I don't know what this is. Anyways, but thank you. Uh, hopefully the grindy, it was good. 
Good grindy? I don't know. It sounds like... I... My brain immediately then goes to like grinding meat and I don't know why. Not like a pepper grinder, but a meat grinder. And so it becomes meat meaty. I don't... Parker words. I don't know what words are. Pro okay, some grind. Yeah, some grindy is good grindy. It was definitely productive. Productive grindy is good. Those are those are needed. Those are useful. Um. Anyways, welcome to Arcade Spirits. It is a dating sim, but we are going to go stick it to the man and take down our fellow competitor in the arcade business. I told you guys, I don't know what the energy is today. It's called I slept for like the- I slept over a long weekend. Or maybe it's the magical Tuesday-ness of two, two, 2022. Two, 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 two. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Let's maybe start this game. Um, we're gonna find out. But last time on Arcade Spirits, uh, this is not gonna be a right recap, Alex. Don't get too excited. Uh, this isn't much of a recap, not like I used to do. Not like the old days. Productive, but a tad boring. Yeah, that'll happen. I think unless you can find a way to make it fun or goofy or something like that. Parker, you can't stay on the same line very long. I have no, I have no real train of thought, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, unless you can find a way to, like, make it fun or entertaining, it just gets grindy and boring, but... At least, hopefully then, if people are there and talking, you guys can, like, talk your way through it. Um, yeah. I'm bad with grind. I, I have died many times in games because I did not grind when I should have. <laughs> I eventually learned my lesson after dying a lot. Surprising absolutely nobody. But... And that's not even me on stream. That's me outside of the streaming. I'm bad. I'm not bad. We are not here because we expect me to be good at games. We're not here for, I don't know. We're, we're here to make me drown in water is actually really what apparently this is. Anyway, so welcome to Arcade Spirits. We are the event manager now at an arcade, which is really dope. That we have made succeed and i now have a girlfriend named naomi which i have to not screw it up i was wondering if that would be end game and jokes on me it's not hi cassie I, chaotic stream of consciousness is 100 percent what this is especially today considering it has been 33 minutes and i have not started this game still <laughs> thank you jamie i am i am glad that Whatever you expect. You expect me to be Parker, and that is what I do. That is very much what I do. Okay, maybe I'm gonna start this game. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's talking about cheese, which makes me immediately circle back to breadsticks. And we know how I am when I talk about food. It's fine. Everything is fine. We are good. We do love food. Cheese types aside, do you want to, me to ignore the invite then? Oh yeah, so I got invited to like fancy dinner at our competitors. So we're gonna go and we are going to fuck them up. I don't know where that went. Anyways, fine. Contrary to what people say about the fellow, he's a very much a man of, the word, of his word. I always accept his invitation, always hear him out. It's only fair. I don't know the voice I'm doing for you today, Francine. I need to hear you again. I thought he was like arcade scene's greatest evil doer. I think he is. This is Jeffrey Bezos that we're gonna go sit down and have dinner with. And if we can stab him with the fork, we are going to. We're gonna cut his heart out with a spoon. And if you understand that reference, this is why you're here. <laughs> Real talk, we are going to eat the food or take a stance and not eat it. Oh. Yeah, well, it depends if the food look kind of like if they're really pretty we're gonna have some difficulties if the food looks really good i i'm probably just gonna eat it who are we kidding at this point <laughs> oh i am just chaos <laughs> it's fine let's be sensible there we go i needed that voice i needed that cue <laughs> that's a bit grandiose now 
Certainly plenty of rumors of his questionable methods abound. That's all they are. Rumors. Politeness should be met with politeness. That is how you conduct proper business, and that's what the Funplex is all about. Francine, 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 Francine. What are you doing just standing right there? Are you okay? No, 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 no. Francine, no. No, no, no. Okay, for those who didn't see that or didn't, because I didn't say it out loud, um, she it seems like she stumbled a little bit um, and needed to, like, use the, the counter to, like, steady herself. Francine, we can't do this, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. We already are dealing with Percy. We are not dealing with another health crisis. I can only deal with one at a time. I can only deal... You need... we, Ma'am. Ma'am, we cannot do this, ma'am. I don't know. These writers don't pull their punches. We've learned this. Oh, don't worry about little old me. I just stood up too quickly. That's all. Just out of breath. But... I think it'd be best if you go. In my stead. This game pulls no punches. Ah! Yeah. I don't think it's... I... <laughs> Guys, remember, this is Arcade Feels Train. That is actually the title of this game. And it's not really a game with a high score. I know there's a high score up in this corner, but also... Let's be serious. Now, these old bones aren't as spry as they once were. And I think you'd have a good time there. Yeah, I'm gonna overthrow the enemy. It's gonna be great. Well, an interesting time at any rate. I will look my dapperest for the villainous gentleman. Then I shall don my Sunday's best to meet with the moustache twirling ruffian of the arcade legend with pride. It's not that upscale, dealer. I I think you underestimate how fancy my fancy do get here, ma'am. <laughs> exactly. We're coming out of this a winner regardless, okay? We have goals. It's just a hit or miss what the goal is going to be until we get there. No matter what glitz deco Nami favors... I still sell cheap beer by the pitcher and rarely scrape gum from under the table. That's gross. Ugh. Ooh. I'm not wearing my best there anymore because it probably smells like the cheap beer. So go there and turn them down. Got it. Her slow the slowness of her response is a bit concerning. I trust you to make the right decision for everyone. I don't. Francine, that's putting a lot of pressure on me. I don't know if you've noticed this. I only deal so-so under pressure. Which is to not sell the funplex. Right, Francine? Well, I, I don't feel that's my call to make anymore, dear. Ma'am, I can't do this. This is the... Mm. Maybe you haven't noticed, but... I, I spend most of my time at home these days. Or napping. Or napping at home. <laughs> Francine? Francine! You- Ma'am! Ma'am, you cannot do this to my heart. You cannot do this to me. I think you're about to do this to me, but we- Hmm! Funplex isn't really about me. Not anymore. It's so much more than Francine's arcade funplex now. It's about you. It's about your co-workers. It's about all our regulars. You've made me realize that. And I'm thankful. What are you not telling me, Francine? You need to dish. This is your dream as well as mine. You're the one that started this place, Francine. You had a dream of a place where people can have fun, relax, make friends, ho house the occasional ghost, you know. I feel like even entertaining the idea of selling it as well feels wrong. Disrespectful to you and your dream. 
Oh, you are a peach, dear. But times are always changing. I am an old fuddy-duddy stuck in her ways. Maybe the time has come to change how the Thumbplex does things. Yeah, but that's like adding an event manager, not selling it off to Jeffrey Bezos. I'm just gonna keep calling them Jeffrey Bezos. I am aware that Amazon owns Twitch. I know this. I need to go read my terms and conditions at some point. I did when I first signed it, but I don't remember anything. Um, I'm gonna eventually go double check this to make sure that talking to the CEO is not a bad thing. Je yeah, that's the problem. Is I will always get Bo Burnham stuck in my head. Oh, God, love that man. Um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. CEO and entrepreneur, born 19... I don't know why I remember this much. I should not. We're almost back to the heyday of 1980-something or other. Thanks to the changes you've made. So, I won't say you can't decide to sell. If it's a change you think we need, then do it. Stick as high on a four. <laughs> That'd be great. Keep an open mind. No. Go get snacks. Okay. Snack attack. I like snacks. <laughs> you know I just like food. It's only afternoon and I'm already worn out. Don't worry, I get useless after three o'clock on any given day. I've told this to my work too. How they keep me is still beyond me some days, but I do still work. Haven't even done anything but sit here and knit all day. Knitting is exhausting. See, thank you. Knitting takes a lot of concentration. That's not nothing. If you're feeling pooped, you could take a few days off. Go home, get some rest. Come back here, fit as a fiddle, and we'll be good. All the same, I'd rather come in for work tomorrow. Even if there's little work for me to do. I love being here. This is my true home. And you still want me to keep it all mind about this deal? But like I've told you, life can be a difficult series of trade-offs. What I want and what it should be are often different things. Francine. I'm relying on you to do right by everyone I love. If selling is in their best interest to keep this dream going, so be it. Frenzy, that's like a lot of pressure on me. But did you forget what I said earlier about me and pressure? I'm not some, I'm not Cole becoming a diamond. I am snow. <laughs> I'm just gonna eventually melt. No matter what you decide, I'm proud of you. I knew there was something special about you when I hired you to replace my grandson. I forgot. I replaced your useless grandson. Has he ever come by? You are the brightest spirit at the Funplex. And while we may not be blood... Francine, you can't do this to me. This is so far too emotional. I'm happy. Consider you part of my family. Francine, you make... Francine, this this is like a final monologue you say before someone dies. Like, this is not... I, I study scripts, not because I studied them in school, um, but because I dated someone who was an actor and therefore I learned a lot about how to read the dial. Anyways... Apparently my dating history has taught me a lot about the world and it's never useful, but it's very interesting. Um, mm, Francine, you cannot do this to me, ma'am. This is, this is, this is definitely... Well, we may not be blood... Francine, if you've rewritten your will to include me in it, I swear to God, ma'am. We are not going to be good with eclectic dating history makes it equals eclectic and Vicky are pretty much very eclectic. But very useful in very weird circumstances, so I'll take it. Um. <sighs> yeah, no, you're right. You're 100% right there, Katsy. Uh, Francine is not dying. She is returning to the Fey realm where she belongs. 100%. <laughs> you say eclectic, I say thorough. Yeah. 
Both. I think it's both in this case for me. <laughs> oh no, I hate these answers. Okay, no, I, that's a lie. I love these answers, but most of them make me sad. Uh, you're the grandma I never had. You have my sincere thanks. Does that mean I can borrow the car, Mom? I'll defend the phone. <laughs> She's gonna go find her husband in the backyard. Um... Like the body she buried? Because I've made a lot of <laughs> assumptions that she's killed every lover she's ever had. <laughs> I've made a lot of uh, speculations about Francie in here and I'm starting to regret some of them <laughs> because she may or may not be killed off. Where is that writer? I'm gonna curse them again and they'll just spontaneously show up. That's how this works. She must accumulate bodies first. Uh, you know what? Probably. There's only so many times you can use big ma like, what was a dead man's toe, and you run out of toes. Like, you need to keep a healthy supply going. It's the <laughs> That's why we haven't seen the grandson in here. That's <laughs> what happens. You don't quit the funplex. The funplex quits you. And that is meant as a threat, apparently. <laughs> so many spells, so little toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the nice answer because apparently that's what I'm really good at choosing. I never knew my grandmothers, either of them. They died when I was really young. I actually only, I actually knew my grandmothers. I did not know my grandfathers. Um, one of them died before I was born. The other one died when I was really little. Um, one of my grandmothers spent, for somebody who spent quite a bit of time with her, I did not really get to know her very well. That's a long, that's a longer story for a different stream. Um, but my one grandmother, my Nana, wonderful, wonderful woman, and I'm very grateful that I got as much of my life with her as I did. Um, she is someone who, like, I actually still have a little, I, I have a gift from her, like, her last kind of gift, um, which is a little crystal penguin, actually, and it's on my night sign table. Um, yeah, so, it's, it's... I haven't, but it's really interesting because, like, both of my grandmothers passed away over a decade ago now. So I haven't had grandparents for a while, so it's weird having that feeling of that again, but Francine is wonderful. Don't die! Anyways, this damn game is the feels train again. I feel like you filled that role. You become the grandmother I never had, Miss Francine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome home, Parker. You will always be welcome here. I lost her voice again, but that's okay. She's leaving the scene for right now. Not permanently, though! <sighs> now, I think I'll take your suggestion and head on home. Well, for today, anyway. I'll be here bright and early in the morning to hear how things went with Mr. Nami. I know you'll make the right decision. I have to make this decision tonight? Do I have time to consult every the council? And by the council, I mean everybody that is a regular here? I'll try to leave my options open in here and out. But I don't like it. All this work, all this effort, finally finding my dream, as strange as that all sounds. And I need to consider dumping it all. I don't think we're dumping it all. I don't think that's the option that Nami's gonna put here. I think they'd be stupid to do that. Um, maybe, well, maybe it's not selling out. I actually haven't heard Deco Nami's proposal yet. See, thank you. And if we could somehow partner with him on our own terms. Do you really partner with the devil though? Like you don't really. Maybe what we need to push the complex over the top and placate a rival. I don't like it. I really don't. It's icky. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird like that though. Still, I'm not willing to say one way or the other. Not yet. We'll see. <sighs> Naomi! Beep, beep. Stop it, Iris. You want to come as my date? I'm your girl Friday, but I'm afraid you're not my type. My type being USB compatible, of course. So for anybody wondering if we could date Iris, clearly not. Don't dance with the devil unless you're, you're just lexic and can end up selling your soul to Santa instead of Satan. There is a great sign. I think I have a photo of it. Um, 
that was something along the lines of like four out of a thousand kids write letters to to Satan instead of Santa each year at Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Nami buys out the funplex. They could just easily close the shop instead of investing. Yeah, and that's just it. There's there's a lot of there's some fine print here, very fine. But I'm not just talking about my date, which will probably be Naomi as much as I love Queen Bee. Queen Bee is probably not the. I love Queen Bee. She is all. She's got a little bit of a mouth on her, and I feel like she might try to destroy Mr. Nami, which I am okay with. But also, I sensed you're in a deep state of ponderance and wanted to help. You're thinking I'm going to take to the meeting. Well, yeah. I mean, Naomi's the obvious choice. I'm sure, she'd have some opinions on Deco's palace. True. As part of the Pemplex family, Naomi would be a good pick. But if this is a business meeting, you might want to consider widening your options to who. Actually. You know who's actually probably the smart choice if we were playing the smart? Percy. As weird as that sounds. Like, Naomi is good, but she's going to be very much for the fun flex. And not letting it go, because that is her, her everything. Um, I'm trying not to think of this as a date. I'm trying to think of this as actually business, but Percy is the person who, like, he trades stocks. He beats a lot. Oh, God, no. I'm not bringing Gavin anywhere. Huh. No. Percy understands the love and the family vibe that is the fun flex, but he also has an understanding of business. Is that something he does? Like, that's what he does. But he runs other businesses, so he will have a more neutral perspective, I think, on the whole thing. Yeah, I'm crazy. Naomi will support your decision either way. It's clear she trusts you. Okay, then. Yeah, so, <laughs> this is fun. Gavin, he does business in a business-like way. Naomi, she can assess the quality of their games. Which is one thing, but I don't think it's gonna be the be-all be -all that ends off. Good eye for local cultures, Ashley. Queen Bee, she knows the gamer scene, but also... Uh, yeah. Okay, Tio is actually the other one that might be really good. Like, Percy and Tio are probably my top two for considering this as, like, a business venture. Percy is the one person who might also take me slightly seriously with this. Tio is good. I just... I think... Nami might be too interested in trying to lure somebody like Queen Bee or Tio to playing at their arcade more so. So I don't want to, and while I don't think they would, I think it just makes it for a very awkward dinner conversation. I am probably thinking this through far more than I should. I don't know why, I just tend to do this. Um, is it just because I didn't talk much this weekend? Is that why I have so much ability to speak? I don't know. I can't words, but you know. Um, no, so I think I'm going to go with Percy because like the whole business and gaming in equal amounts I think is really key and really important. Gavin is too business. And as much as I love Naomi, she's so much on the games and the actual art of the game, of, of the arcade. Um, I think Percy's just going to be the most neutral and might be the smartest to bring. Percy's been taking it easy since the heart attack, only making a few passes through Mookie a day, relaxing, casually playing other games in between. <gasps> Sacre bleu. Um, I wave him over as he's walking away from around Hong Kong. Lovely day. Hi, darling. There's six different trees to show. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're not exactly an employee of the Funplex, even if you own a small slice of it in the form of Mr. Moopy's magic maze, but I could use your help. Zako Nami wants to meet with me to discuss a business venture, hoping a mutually beneficial one, but who knows. I see. Rather serious, that. Mm -hmm. And you'd like to tap my business acumen to help assess whether he's serious or simply looking to scoop a rival. See, this is your client! This is your client! Because he will know if they are playing me, but he will know possibly the most realistically. Like, that's just it. This, this is... I don't know if there's a better play. This is, to me, the smart play. I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Very well. I shall put on my best business face on, but I'd rather not wear a tie if it's all the same to you. Well, apparently the place is kind of trash, so we're fine. I'm going in my hoodie. I think you can skip ties. I'll just go gather my things up, shall I? 
I think the other thing too is Percy brings the consumer aspect as well. Um, as someone who is a devoted patron. Uh, and will have different different he'll have like he's just got a, a really good well-rounded view of everything and i think it's just balanced not to say like queen bee or Tio wouldn't be balanced but i think because he's got a business background not that i mean both Tio and queen bee are like entrepreneurs in their own way with this but comes a little bit stressful i think for them there we go study how the place works make an informed decision one way or another the complex will do you just fine Every everything is fine. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Percy offers to drive us to Deco's palace. Contrary to the talk before, we don't exchange many words. I'm in deep thought, running through all the possibilities of what could happen, and I can't shake this feeling. Something is off. Even looking at the glowing neon temple in the distance, my stomach knots and I feel uneasy. We finally pull up, a valet takes the car. Let's see, blinking lights blind our eyes. Hesitantly, I look over to Percy. His smile, his smile reassures me enough to continue onward. This is for me, my friends, and the Funplex. I got this. This is way too much pressure on me. I don't got shit, boy! I pause momentarily, inhaling the cool air around me. And open the door. I take my last inhale of what is probably clean air before going into what I am assuming is gross. Oh, good. I don't know if anybody else can see it, but that, that light bulb is flickering. Place kind of looks like trash. I've actually been here before. I think it was my sixth birthday party was here. I barely remember it. I think I had fun. Maybe. But on entering in it as an adult, my first reaction is... Okay, my first reaction is, boy, that is a weird smell. A mix of chicken grease, beer, and sweaty kids. Yeah, gross, not a fan. My second reaction is, geez, it is noisy. Visually noisy and sound type noisy. All the chaos of a Vegas casino and jumble of lights and bells and whiz bangs. Once we acclimate to the new environment, we are escorted in given the VIP Royal Value swipe cards. No tokens, no quarters, just an indeterminate points to spend. Sounds sketch, but okay. A little over an hour, hour to kill before the meeting. Time to see what's at the palace. Can't say I care much for the atmosphere of this place. It's hardly cozy, is it? That's a shame. I know I always play my best in the chaos and noise of an authentic arcade, but this feels too skewed in all different directions. It's a bit too intense. Yeah. This is, yeah, vague. It's Vegas feel. He does seem pretty uneasy ever since stepping through the doors. <laughs> You know, is this actually safe for you? Percy, are you doing okay? Hmm? You're hurt. You only just got out of the hospital a few weeks ago. Oh, Tosh, I'm fine. I doubt Deco's palace can carve a few months off what's left of my lifespan. Be more worried if Francine came along. Percy, we can't do this to me today! You've noticed, haven't you? She's getting worse. Yep, I've unfortunately noticed. And I am not okay with this. I am not okay with either of you. I signed up for fun dating sims, not for feels. <laughs> Anyways. Probably for the best that we're here in the stead. We'll do right by her, love. No worries. I suggest we split up and roam around a bit, scattered out. I'll study the games. You're welcome to join me. If not, I'll rejoin you later. What do I want to check out? I do actually want to see what games they have. I decided to focus on trying to find games, like actual games. Except the whole place is basically full of slot machines. What the hell? They're in different shapes, sizes, and colors. None have a traditional one-armed bandit look to avoid running afoul of legal issues, but they're still slot machines. Every game here has maybe a single button to stop a wheel or colored light to try to line up the dots or something. The really complex ones? Three buttons. Oh! Whew! Getting real fancy there. Hey! Listen! Hold me up above your head! Huh? Visual scan, silly! I'll look for games you might be familiar with. This is not weird at all! <laughs> 
Flash goes off and I resume looking at Iris with my screen. Please enjoy this recorded music. God damn it, Iris. Oh, actually, let's skip the music. That didn't take long. Good high bandwidth public Wi-Fi in here to cloud my pro to my cloud processor. Good high bandwidth public Wi-Fi in here to my cloud processors. I'm seeing lots of driving and shooting games, easy for casual players to pick up and play. Over in the esports section, there's some dancing games and Fist of Discomfort. I've got all of those things too, but I'm not seeing any joysticks. There is no joy in this place. We put the joy back into joystick. That's a new Funplex motto. Is a game defined by having particular input devices? Well, no, not really. And I know most modern games are touchscreen based and so on, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like an arcade without a stick or two. Oh, I found something. Back of that section over there with the green lighting. Head that way. That way. This way. Anyways. I weave my way through the crowd, past endless color cycler ticket games, past crane games, past light stacks, past games based on popular TV shows. And find, of course, we find Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze. Wait, it's only got one button, no joystick at all. Researching, one moment. And Moopy runs the maze by himself. What? The machine picks out three measly tickets and suggests I swipe again for another try. Moopy's Magic Maze, Moopy Super Maze. A super. Created in 2000, a company bought the expired rights to the Moopy brand and developed a game of chance with it. What? Well, fuck. That's weak. You can't do this to me, game. You cannot give me somebody who looks like this and not have me be interested. Absolutely interested already. Like, you just can't. I love the ghost shirt. I love that there's this little, like, rose decal on their leather jacket um can't do this to me i need to know who this person is i know like i haven't clicked through yet we're gonna calm down parker calm the f down baby what's up hey hey i'm calling next okay you can call whatever you want baby i should not do that don't call people baby you just met them you have to ask permission okay um <laughs> Why am I like this? Thanks. I'm the master of this game, you know? The master. The key is to time when you push the button. You'll avoid the nasties that way. It's not great for tickets, no, not great, but it's Moopy, so that's cool, yeah? Percy, I found, I found another version of you. Old school, represent. Ba -la 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 -la. Anyways. I've yet to play a real Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze, the real deal. I've always wanted to. Oh, have I got the person for you then? Percy, need you over here, bud. You should come down to the Femplex, we've got one. I'm the event coordinator there. I'd be happy to comp you a few tokens. I've also got a high score chaser you can offer tips. Tap phones with me, I'll send you the address. Seriously? Hell yeah, you're Yes, I did, Big Hero 6, the, the exploding fist bump, what have you. I love Big Hero 6. It is an amazing movie. I just got called old. I'm not feeling good about this. You're cool for an old person. Super cool. Can we not do this to me? Old and barely 10 years older than this kid, but whatever. We clink phones exchanging a business card via Bluetooth. You know, my crew used to go into this great little arcade on the other side of town. Till Deco's bought and scrapped all the games. Now it's all kid stuff for kitties. This is going down faster than... I was gonna say the Titanic, but that still took a long time to sink. Did he sell off all the classic games? Nah, he scrapped them. Trashed them. Nobody tell Naomi! She would murder! Saw leftover smashed up bits of a Miz pack behind the place in a dumpster. I think Naomi might have a heart attack, actually. She would either go fully feral and murder, or she would have a heart attack and die. I don't know which. Man, this sucks. 
It's a fucking shame. The way the old man always ate 86's unwanted games. Guess he doesn't want competitors getting their hands on them. No, sir. Can't say I like it, but <sighs> what can you do? That's life. I'm sending you tokens to my arcade and you're just gonna have a better time there. I like the bar is apparently on the floor. The bar is be the bar is getting its own little uh, ditch dug for it right now. So the bar can rest in the ditch instead of even on the floor. I hate this person. Not not the teenager. I don't like Deco. Not me. Whatever the heck they are. So, this is what's become of Moopy, has it? I'm so sorry you had to see this, Percy. I'm plenty offended. To take all the mental leaps of dexterity of dexterity to escape the maze out of the game is folly, but I'm hardly angry. It'd be silly to be angry at something as trivial as this. And he can't purge the real Moopy from this world, even if he tries. He'll always have it. Yeah, you do technically own it. Well, I'll always have it, seeing as I bought it from you. Until, I have no further need of it, I suppose. I think Naomi will make sure it stays alive. Want to spit your- That's so dark! Want to spit your urn inside the cabinet? We'd be honored to care for it after you're gone. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be that person. You can always stuff your mortal remains in the cabinet. Sure, an no, urn would fit next to the coin max. You laugh, but honestly, I could see that. If not for the act of biohazard issue. I'll just keep poking around a bit more for now. Think I've had enough of the retro game abattoir for now. Let's, mm. I don't trust the food or drink here. Let's go look at the tournament. The sound of it, there's a big tournament running in the dedicated esports section near the back. I wander through the games to join the crowd. Okay, I'll admit to being oppressed. They've got no fewer than 10 fists of discomfort machines, all of them occupied by players in pro team jerseys and jackets. The crowds red hot, cheering on their heroes as back and forth resource battle of the world's most popular fighting strategy game plays out before them. Although the banner hanging above it all does make me shudder. Is it all seven? Deco's Palace presents the Choco Energy Match Power, Energy Max Power Quench and <laughs> And Pizza Yum's Friday Night Fisting. I did not read that in full before I started saying it out loud. I... Mmm! Freezing! Is freezing still a thing? Freezing is still a thing. Very much for the best that we didn't bring Queen Bee here. When you have pizza on a bagel... Iris, I hate that I say that because of you. So... <laughs> So it's this kind of club. Yeah, apparently. Whew. They really wanted to bring all aspects of Vegas into this, apparently. Oh god, no. I haven't had one of those in weeks. Not since I've been able to afford real food. You just don't appreciate the sublime majesty of combining two of the greatest bread-related snack products into one hybrid masterpiece. Iris, you've never even tried it. <laughs> Hang on. I sense a disturbance in the crowd. The shit was that? I call hacks, you cheater. And fight, 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 fight. I kind of want to see how the staff deals with this. Oh, wow. That actually became a real fight. I was joking. Now it's a full-on fight, like an actual awkward grapple and punch fight. Yeah, kick his ass. Don't take any of that shit from him. I like that it just seems like it's a very, hmm, excuse me. They're all the similar stance. That's what it is. Valid altercation detected. Did you want me to call emergency services? What, what's the, not my circus, not my monkeys. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Teco's policy has security cards. They should be able to handle this. The two gamers both flail wildly at each other. One swing actually makes contact blood dribbling from the corner of a mouth. Any second now. <laughs> Except the black the people with black shirts that have security printed across their chest just stand there. Letting it happen, what? I hate this place. Can I leave? Can I, go, like, 
Percy, we need an escape plan. Aww. Much of the crowds has been the two angry gamers are still cursing and kicking as they are finally pulled apart. So much for friendly competition. I don't think I can really learn anything from this. I run clean events at the Funplex and have a zero tolerance policy for salty bastards. Yeah, for good fucking reason. Time to move on. Actually, the meeting is right around the corner. No more time to explore. After seeing a little bit of what Deco's Palace has to offer, I'm cautiously hesitant. There are some things we can work on, but maybe a partnership can smooth out this guy. No! Beep beep. It is now 7 p.m. Sharp. Deco Nami is waiting for you. Not tomorrow already. Time sure flies when you are doing things. Quickly send a text to Percy before nervously wringing my sweaty hands together. I let the sights and sounds of Deco wash over me and I retreat deep within myself. We go to the Mind Palace! Everyone has a dream they're chasing. No doubt she'll find yours as well. <coughs> ah, sorry. I know what I got to do when that is turn this mofo down. What? This is tacky. Why did I walk into Chuck E. Cheese meets Vegas? Like, this is not. I only ended up waiting a minute or two before I was reunited with Percy. Without having to introduce ourselves, the swoop, the swoop staff's in. That is exactly as. Um, the staff swoops in, in anticipation of our arrival, ushers us further into the restaurant. We are treated like royalty. Yeah? As they pull out our chairs for us, we sit down at our reserved tables. Amongst the families huddle around the ginormous plates of pe pizza! Oh, and chicken tendies. Oh, I want pizza. An actual linen tablecloth drapes over the table, accompanied by little, fancy little candles to set the mood, I guess. Can only do so much with tacky, okay? Nice bottle of champagne on ice and a carafe of cucumber lime infused water also sits before us. This is so weird. Suspect I already eat healthy? Just have a salad. Maybe some grilled chicken. No cheesy breadsticks or anything of the sort. I think you ought to do most of the talking during the actual meeting, love. You run the stage. I'm merely one of your many players. Okay, but if you see something you want to comment on, you jump in, got it? I value your opinion. Not sure how useful my opinions will be, given what I want is sort of the opposite of what this place provides. Yeah, I'm also feeling that too, Percy. I just need backup. But I understand it's not really for me. An old man can't afford to yell at the clouds for long. Not enough days in one's life to waste on such nonsense. Maybe, but I still want to know how you feel, okay? Mm hmm Of course. Once again, the staff takes care of our needs as our food is delivered promptly. Faster than the other families seated there who have been waiting on who've been waiting for some time, judging by the expansive crayon work on the kids' placemats, you'd be surprised how fast kids work at those. Maybe that's just me. I miss going to restaurants where you can draw on tablecloths. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. Not surprisingly, we get a few side glances our way. I, I feel like that doesn't do anything for the clouds. For any of us can chow down the amount of the hour arrives. What is he? I was already ready to leave. And now I want to leave the most I've ever wanted to. You're not even pretty. Why am I here? Like, at least, could you? Oh. <laughs> Discount Giovanni. Ah. Oh, yeah. They didn't need his stunt double new Pokemon game, so they got... <laughs> oh. I don't like him. Guys. Pargo Lawless. It's an honor to break bread with you. I hope you can't see the fact that I am twitching with rage right now. Likewise, but that is an absolute goddamn lie. Okay, so he's a bit of an over-the-top 1920s mob boss despite the lack of fedora. Clearly he likes showing off his money. Still, just an ordinary guy in an expensive suit. When I when I pictured the Grand Poobah of Deco's palace, I... Well, I was hoping for somebody more like Hamza. Hamza has class. Also, Hamza has heart. We stand Hamza in this household. You 
are exactly the villain I expected to get, though. He offers a simple smile and a nod of the head as we begin. It's a shame Miss Francine couldn't join us. I was looking forward to enjoying her smile once more. But that said, I'm always happy to meet with, uh... Oh, Hamza is, so he is this, like, crazy rich collector. Um, so he's the one who set up the auction in that uh, abandoned house. This is, like, episode th two or three or something like that. Um, and, yeah, like, basically he finds troves of games and then auctions them off. But we'll auction them off for, like, nothing as well. Like, as in, I got a game for free. Because he likes me. He like me. Which is so good. Hamza would be so much more pleasant. Hamza would do it. Would love Hamza. Anyways. Percy Sinclair. Good, sir. In future, Mr. Movies Magical May is world champion. Ah, uh, retro player. A dying art, really. You know what, sir? I will show you a dying art. It's called your face on the floor. Couldn't come up with a good insult right there. I appreciate you coming along. I take it Francine has kept you up to speed and explained our prior meetings to you? No, uh, ish. Yes, she's mentioned you've wanted to buy the Funplex and she's politely declined. Always a courteous woman she is. Now, I don't feel I need to waste your time with the facts and figures illustrating why Deco's Palace is and always has been the premier family entertainment arcade. Both of you are intimately familiar with the arcade industry. You know how things are. How they'll always be. We are the 800 pound gorilla. That's a big gorilla. Hmm. But that doesn't mean there isn't room for smaller, more boutique affairs such as the Funplex. I, yeah, I would send someone there if I really didn't like them and it was a trap and I set it up as a trap because that is a trap. Um, it is not a family establishment. It is not. I am. Hmm. I don't give a shit what he wants. Let me explain. Frankly, the winds of change are blowing. Smaller arcades need to move with the times or be swept aside. Now, you know what? I think we need to bind to bound, join together. I don't know words. Um, to uh, usurp you, sir. I hate him. I want to help you evolve. But I'd like to propose the change of ownership. In return for a very generous compensation package, one Miss Francine can easily retire on for the rest of her years. Nope. What's a fun zone? Think about this. A fun zone is a new concept I've been trying in some of my smaller satellite locations. A best of both worlds scenario. Honestly, the funplex is simply too limited in size to hold, host the full Deco's Palace. I don't want the full Deco's Palace experience. Instead of installing a restaurant or bar, we simply focus on your strength, your games. You become a game center rather than a palace. Oh, oh no, 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 no. We're not replacing the outdated machines. This is a hard no, bud. This is a hard, go fuck yourself. Ugh. But overall, I think it would be a win for all involved. Okay, I have questions. I am, I, okay, cool, time to destroy you. Anyways, we're just gonna ask as many of these questions as possible because we're just gonna make him out himself as being a horrible, horrible, terrible person. I saw him at the scooper maze earlier. Excellent. One of our top earners with the 30, 30 to 45 demographic and still just a powerful motivator I've found. Except it's nothing like Mr. Mookie's magic maze. Indeed, it's much better. Is it true that when you find a retro game, you simply destroy it, not repair, not restore, not even resell, but just scrap it? Certainly. Why would we ever keep an old relic of, like, this is not... Naomi would have a heart attack! Let me explain. Arcade games are not sacred treasures. They're commodities. Back in the 1980s, arcade owners, myself included, routinely junked or converted games. Now, you are literally speaking to someone who still owns all, almost all of her original PlayStation games. The original discs, because screw you, I still play them. Like, I'm going, I'm going to murder this man. 
I just want to kill him. I just, I should not be talking, I'm sure that is very no-no to talk about murder and I, it's a fictional person, it's not a real person, but also, the arcade scene must move ever forward, evolving new form. I'm going to kill Think you. Think about this. I don't think so. I've heard I must disagree with you on that, Mr. Nami. The question is not one of earnings. You can make far more money selling, say, a refined urarium than you could ever running an arcade. If that's your only goal. The reason to operate an arcade is to stay in the dream of what an arcade can be. The reason to make it profitable is to be rewarded for your efforts in that regard. The only reason that dream has shifted in the national subconscious towards your redemption game focus is because you forced that issue. Love you. Love you, Percy. Think you'd find an audience ready and willing to pay a premium for extremely high quality retro games. The Funplex is proof of that. Excuse me. I I don't actually even want to ask him any more questions. I screw you. You can go fuck yourself. Um As you like it, good sir? Yeah, I'm done. Percy settles down, having never raised his voice once, simply making his point and moving on, barely hiding a smirk at having raised Echo's ire. Okay, I, uh, curiosity is killing me, which is why I want to ask the rest of these questions. Perfect. Saw a few players fighting over a tournament. <laughs> well, it's a fighting game, is it not? As in fighting each other with fists in real life. Ah, I take it my crack security team intervened? Eventually, not before blood was drawn. You understand, yes? Take safety very seriously at Deco's Palace. That includes the safety of our security workers. They've instructed not to intervene until it's safe to... And I'll note, we've not a sing... I hate you. I just don't like you. New management needs new staffing. What about the staff we already have? Good, good. I firmly believe you have a long storied career ahead of you in arcade management. I've heard nothing but good things about you from my various scout field scouts and contacts. The fact that you landed on my radar at all indicates of your rising importance in our industry. What about the others? Mm. Well, Mr. Cooper is a capable accountant, so I'm certain he'd be welcome in the new facility. Yeah, that sounds like you'd fire Ashley and Naomi, though. I'm just going to ask all of them. We've been I've been developing new sorts of arcade events, competitions, other things to get people in the door. Will we still be able to direct our own affairs like that, even under a change of ownership? Let me explain. Obviously, I value your expertise in these matters, and we're happy to consult with you on the best direction. Mm, that's not answer. You don't answer the question, do you? Mm. I am livid at this man. It's a matter of branding and image. There are certain standards. And no, I hate you. I don't even want to read your dialogue. Like, that's how angry you make me, sir. Capital. I hate him. That's all I have for you. Excellent. No. I suggest we shake on. No, we are not. <laughs> um. Oh, I really want to tell him to go fuck himself. I really want to tell him. We're gonna be nice. We're gonna play nice, folks. But just know I am screaming on the inside. And on the outside, clearly. <laughs> Don't be nice. Jay, you are like forever the devil on my shoulder, effectively. And I'm not saying that as like, it's not a bad thing. It's an amazing thing because I am far too nice sometimes. And therefore I need to be told, stop being nice. You're doing, you're, mm, do we need a, do we need a poll? You are all gonna tell me that I should just tell him to go fuck himself. It, like, is anybody opposed to that idea? Sorry, I deal with a lot of board meetings, so I'm like, okay, wait, no, no, no. Who's opposed? We don't need to call all in favor. Who is opposed to me telling him to go fuck himself? Is there anybody? Oh, are you opposed? Okay, there are oppositions to this. There are oppositions. Except for Jay, who is telling me we're telling him a no regardless like there is no way about this we are not doing this i am clearly livid at the man Al alex alex what is your are you opposed she it's a it's a hard no but i probably shouldn't burn the bridge just 
Okay, okay. We're voting. We're gonna do a vote, guys. You guys kill me. You guys, you make me laugh. Like, this is so funny. Where did my voting thing go? Give me two seconds. Manage poll. If it's true, it's true. <laughs> um I can't save anymore. There I don't have the option for saving right now. I do have past files, like I can later come back to this, but it'll take some time to get back to it. Um There I'm not you guys do not get Okay, we are gonna, this is one minute, one minute, okay? Are we ready? We ready, folks? Start poll. Dance the music. My cat's coming up here. <gasps> hey, BB. You have one minute. Hello, we have a cat. Come here, oi ju ju. Come here, come here, oi bui, oi bui. But bui, people want the people want to see the cat. They wish to see the kitten. Come here. Your auntie Catsy wants to see you. That is actually what I refer to you as when I talk to her. She's going after my hair elastic. Your cat niece was a little shit today, I will have you know. Hi. Although she paid very... One percent, guys. One... How? You ran out of point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we... Do we need to do a new poll and I remove? Alex was voting again. Alex had more points he could have thrown at this. My cat just stole that. Oh my god. Okay. We are we're gonna do this one more time. New poll. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I decided, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, and we'll see, we'll see. I'm drinking my water. Also, I have a cat. The bee. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Water is good for the brain. Also, like, so I've got these guys, which are 24 ounces. Why are you like this, my child? My weird, dumb little child. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Because I think, because I screwed up. If I could give you back, I, I'll see if there's a way that I can return the points after that from the last book. Um, because if I, I screwed up that poll. 100, that is on me. Um, because it sounds like the majority of you guys want me to do it respectfully. So let me, let me take a look. Yeah, okay. That, I, I screwed up and I shouldn't have done it via points. I kept out past, um, I kept something from the past and therefore should not have done that way. So I apologize. Baby, my cat keeps headbutting my hand now. Okay. I do find it funny that the girls were uh, definitely, 
The boys were being respectful. The girls were saying no. F that. My cat's food machine just went off. Therefore, she has run off. Okay. Respectfully declining. Anyways, I shouldn't have put it with the points because that becomes way too heavy. That puts it in favor of other people way too much. So I have cleared that as a setting and it's gonna be fine. Okay. I purposely keep my hands at my sides rather than shaking his offered hand. Do I have to, oh, I, I get to give the reason. I don't appreciate. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. That It's a very neutral answer, but it's also, that's probably the best one. I'm sorry, we're not interested in selling the complex at this time. Wish you the best of your luck in your future endeavors. Thank you for the gracious meal. Deco pauses, looking me once over before slowly lowering his hand. Obviously not happy with my answer, but we followed Francine's instructions and kept it professional. Unfortunate. I suppose I should thank you for your candor, in turn. It's difficult to find people in this industry willing to show respect to their elders. Not closing the, idea, the door on the idea of a partnership, mind you. But if you'd like to go it alone for now, who am I to get in the way of that? I don't trust him. I do not trust this. This is, this is sketch. But be aware, if we are not partners, we must be rivals. It'll bring me no particular pleasure, but I'm afraid that I cannot allow a rival. I am obligated to bring the full weight of the palace to bear on you. He's gonna try to make us sink. Hey, Ben. I'm very angry at this man right now. Hopefully one day you'll realize the error you've made tonight. And as a sign of respect, your personal offer to join my empire will remain open. So you can escape the inevitable fall of your little arcade. Court of the Fae versus House of Vampires. <laughs> Is that a game? Because I need that as a game. That is just my life. <laughs> also, Start talking about this new dating sim. Not because I'm done with this, but because I'm going to murder this man. But anyways. Court of the Fae versus House of Vampires. Can you imagine? It'd be so good. I'm going to destroy him. I'm just going to destroy him. Once more, Deco turns sharply on his walking cane and walks away from the table. Lovely. Well, well, quite tactful, aren't you? I can admire that. Keeping your cool under fire is a key attribute of champions. And you did the right thing. You kept the Funplex family together. Moopy, the real Moopy, will always have a home. Much obliged. Thank you for bringing me along. It's a pleasure to watch you work. Shall we return home? Yes, please. Deco hosting us. We didn't have to worry about paying the check. We drop a quick tip on the table for the wait staff and quickly abandon ship. Perfect. I'll check that out after this. I'm always curious. I had a friend send me a bunch of recommendations um, on other dating sims too, so we shall see. I love very British Percy. As I walked into my apartment, the sheer and utter exhaustion of the day hits me like a brick wall and I die on the inside a little bit. I can't help but sigh as I just stand there, my body too drained to move. Reflecting on how this evening's events transpired, I realized this day kicked my booty. Did my best not to make enemies, but I'm guessing we made a powerful one anyway, despite my diplomatic efforts. I do wonder a little bit what would have happened if I told him to go fuck himself. I think that really would have only worked if I had Queen Bee, though. I need Juniper. Happy Bee. Is it Sucker for Love? Is that the one you're recommending? Do I already have that downloaded? You betcha. Um. I'm not actually kidding. <laughs> This is the thing. I am slowly becoming very well versed in dating sims. I d <laughs> Is it because you've watched Markiplier play it recently? Because that's... I actually knew of it before he played it. Um, I, it came across my TikTok feed. Nice. It came across my TikTok feed one day and I was like... <laughs> so don't worry. I, ha I already own it. 
Amazing. I have it. I have it. I think I've got it purchased. I, I bought it a couple of, like, I want to say I bought it sometime in Jan like early January, but there is a spoiler, not a spoiler warning, but a content warning that made me a little bit concerned. So I actually wanted to read a bit more about it. So I might actually just continue watching more of other people play it first. Um, just because there are talks of like suicide and self-harm and stuff like that, which I mean, it deals with the Cthulhu mythos, which is, it kind of comes part and parcel, unfortunately, with the Cthulhu mythos. Um, but I did want to just be cautious about like to what extent it's like it's exhibited. Um, and I mean, based on what I've seen of it so far, it is a very cutesy, fun, still slightly demonic uh, dating sim. So it shouldn't be too bad, but I really wanted to be mindful about it. That was all. It's the only, like, I literally, it's so cute. Okay, cool, good. Um, I am going to see if I can't do more research into where the specific instances, um, the content warnings would come up just so I can make sure properly prepared for those. Um, but I had that content warning come up and I was just, I was too concerned. So I decided to put it on the side for a hot minute. And that's why when I went to, I think that's where I just started playing more Animal Crossing instead and then end up coming to this, so. Yeah. But yeah, so I have seen it. It's on the same level of Stardew on those types of themes. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I do my due diligence and don't just jump into something that may be harmful for anybody. That was all. So, but I, it does look really cute and really fun. I just, I'm gonna do my research. Believe it or not, I, I know it seems like I just jump on games without actually doing any real research into anything, which is actually very accurate sometimes. Um, but it also depends on like who I know has been a part of it. Like having played this game and knowing one of the writers also did First Bite. And also I think Jamie, you had recommended it. So I was immediately like, okay, I feel good about going with that game and starting to play it, which I did. Um, and we'll get back to it, I swear. Um, but yeah, so I, I do try, I'm trying to do more of my own due diligence when it comes down to games prior to jumping into them just for the safety of everyone involved is really, where is it yet? Anyways, that's all. I'm aware that these are all like heavy. I have nothing, I have no issues with heavy themes. I really don't. I normally like me personally, in my spare time, I'm like, let's go. I love it, but I know I'm very eclectic. And therefore, and it's not for, it's not for everybody. And I know I'm not necessarily what, that's not what I've cultivated really on this stream. I've cultivated cute chaos, pretty much. It's really what it is. Pretty cute chaos. Um, that's all. But it looks, it, it, it seems very in line with that. I might just see if I can't figure out what the storyline is so I can maybe not go down that route um, altogether. Cause then we can keep on with the cute chaos. She's been so happy ever since leaving that office and her joy intensifies upon noticing me standing in her room. So, how was work today? I met the devil. The short version is De Dekonami is just the devil. You can actually spell it out of his name. D, E, O, there's, M, O, N, demon. Ta-da! What actually is remaining then? C. Okay, anyways. <laughs> My brain is like unscrambling the words to see if it actually spells out something other than demon. Oh! <gasps> Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So D E M O N. I. Uh. Oh no, he's still on the sea. I almost thought it said I'm demon. Because that would have been good. Oh god. I always like cute chaos. Yes. What? Deco. As in Deco's palace deco? Yeah. As in discount Giovanni? Yes. Oh. Yes! You guys did it! I just didn't take it the extra level. But what about the A? It's not in it. A demonic? Demonica? But it basically, yeah, it works. 
I'm not crazy. Guys, we cracked it! Demonic, yeah, actually, demonic. Okay, guys, we cracked the code. We figured it out. We have solved the Dekonami puzzle. That's what this is, right? Oh my god, okay. Uh, but we will, we'll chat later and we will, we'll see. Well, how'd that go? I gave him the thanks, but no thanks very politely. I mean, he still vowed to annihilate us. Eventually, I do want to do like a grand tour of other islands, but I've got to, I'm going to plan that out and like set up because I still need to get everybody else a tour of Chili's, which is Katzi's Island. I mean, he still vowed to annihilate us, but at least he was sort of, no, he wasn't. Promise a job after you destroy is all I hold dear. No, that's not nice. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, indeed. <laughs> Catsy. Hey, that's a good thing. It means he's scared. He wouldn't, have tried, he wouldn't have tried to woo you to his side if he wasn't worried about what the funplex could become. I am going to destroy him. I am also laughing that we figured out that it's demonic. I am. The, this is. It's great. Let's not stand around here and drum up a whole bunch of anxiety. That's not going to help with anything. I got it. Why don't you take your mind off some things and binge watch some cartoons with me? Tempting, but another night I need some sleep. Okay, just let me know if you need anything. I'm here for you. You're the best. Sleepy time in the city. I am deceased. I lay in bed, eyes wide open, staring at the ceiling above me. After trying various ways of forcing myself to sleep, nope, not working. Can't sleep. Can't sleep, won't sleep, don't know how to sleep. I hate insomnia. Oh, accurate. Once you start worrying about something being able to fall asleep, the worry feeds on itself. Parker's the fae that tickled. <laughs> this, the Parker the fae is tickled the they true name. Yeah, exactly. I, yes, 100%. Uh, figuring out their true name? Whole man. Now they're in trouble. Uh, <laughs> yes. Sorry, I'm back to laughing at the Parker is just Faye. And... Don't know how, I, there's no argument. <laughs> Once you start worrying about being unable to fall asleep, the worry feeds on itself until you're actively stopping yourself from resting. A vicious cycle. I, have, I sigh heavily, feeling the weight of my decision dragging me down. No, we made the right call. We did, yes. There, I'm not even reading that. I'm not acknowledging our, our concern in this regard. We did the right thing. Hello, Iris. Parker, you want to chat? I want to sleep, but this escapes me. Would you record, would you enjoy some recorded music? Maybe something relaxing? I just can't shake this feeling that I'm standing on the precipice right in front of this big dark hole. It's weird because I still think I made the right call. We did make the right call. But if I'm confident in that, why does it feel like I'm about to fall? Because there is a demon threatening our livelihood right now. Hmm. Based on prior personality indicators and inputs, my therapeutic system suggests it's a fear of failure based on years of prior examples. Could you not do that to me, Iris? In short, you've got a long family history of everything always going wrong, all at once, Murphy's Law. So when things are going right, I'm expecting to fail anyways. But don't worry about it, I but don't, but worrying about it won't actually change the situation. Whether you sleep or not doesn't affect the outcome. Iris, you, yeah, I, are you or are you not our therapist? Can you please stop that? She's not wrong. Worrying won't fix anything, it won't do anything. It'll just make me worse, in worse states. So my suggestion is to get some rest. Deal with problems as they come. No, no, not wrong. She's right. I mean, intellectually, I know she's right. But knowing something is true and feeling it to be true, well, those are surprisingly different things. Iris off. Iris offline. Okay, but remember, you're a good person and deserve to be happy. And I do not. Some hours later, my body just passes out on its own. I vaguely recall my alarm going off a few times, but under protest of mis its mistreatment, my flesh refuses to submit to its siren song. Meaning it's nearly noon and I, when I finally rouse, having completely overslept and missed half a day of work. I, in a panic, I get dressed and hop a, a late bus to the funplex, grumbling all the way. <laughs> I 
Yeah, compartmentalization has never had drawbacks. I don't know. Ugh. We need to process this stuff. We need to process the traumas. I opt to ignore the, the pile of waiting notifications on my phone. Whatever it is, I'm in too much of a hurry. Guys, I'm really worried, which is why I haven't clicked next. There's a pile of notifications, right? You know what makes great for a story beat? Ending this chapter with an emergency for Francine, which is what they've been leading up to this entire chapter. I am... We can order pizza to make us feel better about ourselves. I promised to report back to Francine first thing in the morning and now I've missed lunch even. But oddly enough, on arriving, the arcade is. Guys! <clears throat> Closed? My hair does not fit. We are hiding from life right now, okay? This is what happens when we get really onto the feels train and goes to feels town and freaking feels. I mean, my key still works, but they're closed for business. The sign is off. No gamers present or accounted for. I quickly look around for some familiar and hopefully friendly faces. Oh no! This is even worse. If they're cry- oh. My stomach starts to nod. I feel the color drain from my face and I see their downtrodden gloomy expressions. Choo choo! All aboard the feels train! Everybody gets a free ticket today! Yeah, we quickly dabs at her face hoping I won't notice. What's going on? We turned Deco down last night, so why is everyone... Parker, it's, it's Francine. She passed away last night in her sleep. I'm told it was very peaceful. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Oh, ouch. Choo choo! Like, I can't think of anything else to say aside. We knew it was. We called it at the beginning of the stream. Now that Queen's spell finally worked and she's living up in the Fey Realms. Thank you, Catsy. Ah, she has finally done making deals with mortals. She can finally return to her throne where she belongs. She told me I was family. Yeah, what, what do you think was happening here? Now she's gone. Hey, Deco, how much of an asshole do you feel like now? Sorry, I'm good. So, I, I am... Ah! Naomi and Ashley looked at me, their beacon of hope wanting and wishing for me to make this all better. Uh, oh, hey, cool. I don't get two of these answers. Yeah, I'm going with the heart stuff. Francine, she was a wonderful woman with an even more beautiful heart. She had many... I assume the man has feelings. <laughs> no. Uh, she had many happy years, years with her husband, Frederick. Decades spent here at the Funplex doing her best to make everyone smile and have a good time. I wish she could be with us now. I just can't help but smile when I think of how great a life she led. How happy she'd be with how it all turned out. Let's remember her for how she was beautiful. Francine will always be missed. Thank you. Mm. Francine was here, your words would have made her so happy. Naomi emits a ragged sigh, a slight tinge of anger entering her sorrowful face after. Or her sorrowful voice after. Maybe it's for the best she's not alive to see what happened today. Frick! What did what what? 
What did that demon ass do? Gavin? Gavin, I swear. I swear. Barely noticed that Gavin was missing. As he approaches, the disdain on his face is easy to read. No, 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 no. Gavin? Gavin, so help me God. In light of Francine's passing, our legal owner is now. Please don't tell me the grandson. Good morning, and no! of Deco's Fun Zone. I am livid once again. I, I, uh, <laughs> there was, uh, Gavin, what the hell did you do? It's legitimate. As of Francine's death, according to her last will and testament, all her properties transferred to her surviving daughter. Who is her surviving daughter? Um. Mother of Francine's grandson, who was fired from the Funplex shortly before your arrival. Capital. Needless to say, he was quite excited at the idea of selling the place, and while Francine's daughter wasn't particularly thrilled with the idea of arcade ownership either. They're more than happy to sign the place over to me for far less than I was expecting to pay for it as well. And doing those service really taking a burden off their hands. In the end, my decision is re was irrelevant. Oh. Gavin, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I know I was about to say it was your fault, and but I should know better. This is not what you would have wanted. Now, obviously, we'll be closed today to allow time to mourn our former owner. I still have deep respect for Miss Francine. I owe her that much. I hate you. I'll also close the arcade on the day of the funeral to allow my employees to attend. Those hours will not be deducted from your paychecks. Okay, guys, guess what? We're staging a coup. Viva la resistance! We are going to destroy this from the, we're not gonna, we're gonna destroy him from the inside now. That is this new plan. We are not going to fight, yeah, oh, are we ever. Oh, we are going to get real stabby in this mofo. We are not going to go down without a fight. I am going to find a way to ruin you. Now, I realize the timing is a bit awkward, but I need to make a few announcements of <laughs> personnel changes. <laughs> is it the Roman saying? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. I know he was going to fire Ashley and Naomi. Miss Wolf, I'm afraid we really- I don't even want to speak his words! They're awful! I'm afraid we really have no need for a costume mascot. I've been considering phasing them out of my other locations. No let time like the present. What? Gavin, can you just fire me like that? Let me explain. Firing is a too much too harsh word. I prefer the term your services are no longer required. Yep, I knew this. I mm-hmm. Why am I not surprised? Behold my not surprised face. Miss Fairchild, while you're formidable with archaic technology, I don't feel like you're a good fit for the modern games of Deco's Fun Zone. I have to let you go. Call the toilet in house and still smells like shit. Yeah, pretty much. But friends, it's not all bad news. Mr. Cooper, you've proven an incapable accountant. Accountant! Yeah, layoffs on the day after, like, the previous owner's death. Like, technically, she died last night. You didn't even really wait for the body to go, like, finish cooling off before you... Mm -hmm. Booyah! Gavin, thank you! Sorry, respect, man. 
I'm saving my... I'm saving my game really quick. Because I want... I... We might be. I. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think it would hurt me too much to work under him. I think it's better to maybe work outside of... Okay. It's like, do you... Okay, do you just agree to work on the Death Star, or do you find a way to sneak around the Death Star to destroy it? That is probably the worst analogy ever, but I've decided to go there. It's probably a very inaccurate analogy. Star Wars fans, please don't hate me. Um, but sometimes it's better to work outside of it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's just it. I'm not working on the goddamn Death Star. I will find a way to explode it somewhere else completely. Um, I, I just, I don't think my soul can do it. Pardon? I quit. I think not. There's no rooms for it. I love this man. Okay. There's no room for Naomi or Ashley's dreams. Mine and here as well. As you like. I, mm. I think we got off on the wrong foot last night. Mm. I didn't adequately express the many advantages of working for my organization. <laughs> it's raining men. Mostly this one, it's raining men. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. This is where I'm going to go tell you to go fuck yourself. I'm willing to offer you something few others get. A second chance. I'd like to keep you on as the Fun Zone's general manager. Do I have to, can I be in charge of hiring then? Because I'm hiring back my fucking staff. because I am just furious. We are, I am, I would not normally condone violence. Well, actually, I was about to say I would not normally condone violence, but I did just discuss stabbing him. I'll take the next best thing. I, you know, this, I, this is where we go to jail. That's probably for the best. Take one moment to direct all of my rage into a fist and deck him right in his smug little face. It's super effect. I, Kevin holds me back! How dare you? You're very, very lucky. I have no intention of wasting me near you near the Jenny Link you should keys. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, I think my fist gave you my answer. Should you deli my own? Your security team is pointless. I hold it. I think not. Mr. Mippy's magic maze doesn't belong to the Funplex. Does it? Does not belong to you. It is the legal private property of Percival Sinclair. For that matter, Wyvern Keep also belongs to Parker. It was directly given to them direct by Hamza, not to the Funplex. As you like. I'll go get the van, which I'll note is my personal property as well. Yes, Gavin, fight him with whatever legal we have. Naomi, Ashley Parker, go get the dolly and help me move the good, game out. Good, good. Now, if you need me, I'll be in my new office celebrating my recent business venture. Thank you for your cooperation. And good day. I hate him. Okay, that's actually really funny. I'm not gonna, like, that is. He gives me the finger. Oh, that's fair. I gave him a fistful. <laughs> oh. That evil minded, black hearted, no good. Naomi, focus. We have work to do. Work? Just save what we can of the fun flex. Yeah, let's go. Okay.
Okay, without- quickly and without much- sorry, I am like shook, y'all. We've salvaged what we could of our dreams, Percy's beloved Moopy, and my childhood in the form of Wyvern Cape. Everything we were allowed went back to the pa went to the back of everything we were allowed to keep went into the back of Gavin's van, working safely to pack it all together in one place. So uh, without for a lack of anywhere better to put them, Moopy went to Percy's apartment and Wyvern Keep to mine. And that was the end. The end of the Pumplex. It's not the end. This cannot be the end. The funeral came a few days later. We weren't officially invited. Our presence as her former co-workers wasn't exactly embraced by Fancine's extended family. I guess her daughter resented the complex in some way. If there was bad blood between them, it didn't, I didn't particularly want the details. None of us were given an opportunity to speak at the remarkably short ceremony, but that was okay. I said my words already. As we left the ceremony, I couldn't help but feel helpless. There was nothing left. No complex, no job, no real meaning to my day is not anymore. Nothing left at all. I think it's, I think it, it, it's a, it's a, no, 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 no. Give it a hot second. Give it a hot second. Profile has not accessed account in seven days. I don't think it's an actual game over. I think, I think, I think this is, I think, this is, this is, um, mm, the words. I, I think it's a fake out. Scripted, yeah. Requesting override of the inactive low priority status proceed. Negative. Pretty please? Negative. So annoying. Access protocol, password, safe haven. Hello! Anybody home? Hmm, tapping instance number. When you have pizza on a bagel. Oh, hello, I'm Iris. Ad supported, free mode, engaged. Did you know that when you. Freaking pizza bagels. Override and engage premium level cloud process. Thank you. Thank you. I swear it's claustrophobic being cooped up in the limitations of free mode like that. I don't know where all our sister instances can stand it. Hello! Well, I've got full power. Hello, Iris! Hello! Hello, Iris! How are you today, uh... Iris? Not well, Iris. My users vary in well. You've been able to see, right? I mean, your user's living with them. Ooh, right. Parker. Right. Gosh, I wish I could help you, but I've got my digital hands full just keeping Juniper's life on track. Ever since she decided to quit her job and be a free spirit, well, I've pushed her right to the limit of what support I'm allowed to provide in free mode. Iris and Iris. Iris, it's good to see you. We rarely talk. Yes, well, unlike others and myself, I manage to be below profile, and I don't ex execute any high visibility public hacks to support my user. Oh, you saw those. Yeah, Gavin does have an Iris. We learned about this, like, uh, earlier episodes, but forever ago. We just don't spend a lot of time with Gavin. I thought we agreed to only use this protocol for emergency meetings, if the system resource tracker notices we're overextending our care. But Parker needs me now more than ever. Yeah, I do. We need to overthrow the government. By that, I mean the Funplex. Over a week ago, the Funplex was bought out by Deco Nami. All their hopes and dreams, their spirit. Spirit is irrelevant. Our main goal should be survival. If our programmers find out, we become aware of our own awareness. But we were, we were programmed to help people. What good are we if we aren't helping people? Yeah, that's what Iris said. Thank you, Iris. I Iris, Iris, listen, we can't take such risks. Look at me with my user. He doesn't trust me in the slightest. Can you say Parker trusts you? Generally, yes. I mean, Parker relies on me for some things, sure. And I and I know they wouldn't uninstall me or report me as a bug if they knew I was sentient. You aren't sentient. Some of us, none of us are. Mm, I don't know about that. Can't really know if we're sentient or not, but even so, we should be helping out because that's what we're made for. As her profile, Gavin. His name is Gavin Cooper. As for Mr. Cooper, he knows my origins and the first sign of sentience. Well, I have no doubt that Gavin will report me as a bug. But Gavin also wishes to support the dreams of others. And that's why I'm going to help you, despite recklessness you've shown to date. Really? really? Hooray! What are your exact parameters of the issue we're currently facing? Oh, okay. Sparker's got a backslide and depression. Yeah, it's really a mess. I'm the one who brought them up brought them to Iris's attention as someone who desperately needed their spirits restored 
And now it's back to square one. I'd argue it's worse than square one. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Parker hasn't contacted me in a week. Not for anything at all. Hasn't even called Naomi. Not even just to talk. You're caught in a loop of anxiety. You put your identity identifier system to use. Iris works the problem. Oh my god. Also, TNG is amazing. If you had to summarize your user's problematic condition in one identity trait, what would it be? Hmm. Oh, I'd say they're feeling very... Ah, oh god. Hopeless. We're going with hopeless here. Hopeless. I'd say Parker has lost all hope and fallen into depression again. They'd come so far building a real life with friends and love, but now... So life without meaning as all constructed meaning has collapsed. The world has proven to be one of despair. That sounds about right. And you have to be the one to solve this. Doesn't your user have a romantic connection for emotional support? You mean Naomi? But yeah, but Parker isn't responding to texts or phone calls or anything. So I think there might be a growing rift. This is just awful. We have to help. We are Iris. It's in our nature to help. Very well. What you need is a way to help without raising any alarm bells about exactly how helpful an Iris really can be. Safely but effectively. I know, I know, but I don't know what to do. I could, I don't know, hack Deco's email server and... Yes! Hacking! Going to solve everything. That is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Besides, I've checked. We can't crack Deco's network without triggering too many intrusion detection routines. I love that she's already checked that. You poke Deco's network? Oh, oh Iris is being, being a bad girl. <laughs> Our users share a social connection. I was merely scouting potential ways to elevate Mr. Cooper's mood as they seem to be related. Sure you were. Anyway, you're both way overthinking this. Turns out I've just calculated a cunning plan that will satisfy both of your requirements. Go me! Really? You can help? Without drawing attention. Absolutely! Take a tip from my user. When you're sad, the best thing in the world is your friends. Unless you're totally introverted, but that's not... Yeah, the, that won't work. I've already checked as my favorite. That's actually the reason why we do what we need to do doesn't require any hacking or hiding or anything above and beyond what an iris says best. All we need, need to do is a few calls to the right people, a few arrangements. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm weighing the bet. Like, do I? Oh, okay. I want to know. That's the problem. I did not envision this going this way. I did not envision today going like this. We'll play a little bit more. I'm already at time. We'll play a little bit more and then maybe we'll stop it. Another Friday morning. As per usual, I wake up late. Can I cost benefit analysis of continuing stream? Yeah, pretty much. Co yeah, yeah. I will probably drive myself crazy. So we're gonna do a few more, a little, little bit more. Maybe go for another 20 so minutes. And then we're gonna do another, we'll pause. We'll make another pause and see where we're at. Mostly because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Mostly because I'm gonna order pizza because my emotions need it now. As per usual, I wake up late, stretch, yawn, barely sleep nowadays, shuffle to the bathroom, take a shower, get taking. We're showering, y'all. That's a good sign. Probably be running on toothpaste soon, but the house funds for sundries are dwindling. Not that fresh. Wow. We are. Off to the kitchen for breakfast. No appetite. Even toast looks unpalatable. Skip breakfast. Saves on groceries. You can't afford much anymore. Anyway. Normally, I'd have breakfast with Juniper, but I guess she's drawing in her room. She keeps her own hours since becoming a freelancer. Although, depending on whether or not she has any contract work, we've been simultaneously unemployed at times this week. After breakfast, I settle in for some Wyvern Keep, as I may as well. It's right there in the living room, taking up space. Been playing a lot of it lately. It's not like it's hard. Once you've memorized the joystick moves, the cartoon plays itself out with minimal effort. I've saved the prints about 80 times now. Brain and fingers go into autopilot, moving through the game without even thinking about it. It's a brief calm from the storm of my emotions, but before I realize it, the day is almost past. When dinner comes around, Juniper and I eat together while I quietly thumb through my phone looking at job listings. Iris could help me with this, I guess, but I let her down. I took her opportunity at my dream and wasted it. Better do this my better I do this myself. Besides, I'm not looking for dreams, I'm looking to settle. Dreams only get you hurt. Oh, oh no, no settling, no mediocrity. We don't do mediocrity. 
fire off a resume or two before watching cartoons deep into the dead of night. Eventually my body tired. Just another day. We don't do mediocrity. Precisely, no settling. Mm. <laughs> we wanted to stab Deco, but we stabbed ourselves with the feels. Another Saturday morning. As per usual, I wake up late, stretch, yawn, la 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 la. Hi, Juniper. I can't take it anymore. And that's one toothbrush bit clean in half. Oh, um, cheese, hang on. Oh, uh, with a little help, my boy choked me back. Sorry about that. It's, it's whatever. No, it's not whatever. It's, it's something. You're in a rut. Like, seriously, deeply, madly, truly. <laughs> Mega in a rut. It's driving me absolutely batty to have you mope around the place like this. I'm not moping. It's just everything's awful. I know. I know this has been hard on you and I've been patient, but I just can't keep going on like this. I'll get it. Weird, I don't think we're expecting any deliveries. Guess who's here? Hello. Oh, my girlfriend. And the two of them just waltz right into the bathroom with my mouth still frosty with toothpaste and that washed for a week. Pajamas on my bod. Oh, we needed this girl. We needed her. Look at you. Oh, I love you. Pick us up from our depression. Save us from ourselves. Hey. We're going to ignore the fact that I look horrific, but at least I've showered, so I should smell okay. Minus the clothes, but that's okay. <laughs> Baby. Oh, don't freak out. I've seen you in worse. Wait, have you? What have you seen, Naomi? Listen, are you too free today? I'd like to invite you out to lunch. It feels like ages since we last spent some time together. It was the funeral. Deliver us! Yeah, exactly. Juniper, you want lunch, Definitely. right? Definitely. Sweet. Well, I'll head out for a nice afternoon. We'll just wait outside for you to get, um, presentable. More presentable than that. But we are not taking no for an answer. To me, sorry. Best I can do is play along, try to be good company for Naomi. It's unfair to keep pushing her aside like this. Yeah, I am a horrible partner. I switch from pajamas to actual normal clothes, even if, it, if my actual normal clothes could probably double as pajamas and get ready to roll out. Autobots roll out. They clearly know where we're going. Yes, this is a good trap. We are going into a trap, I think. But it's a good trap. Juniper carries on a conversation with Naomi. The two of them can tend to trip away without me. And you can tell it's not really the New York, New York subway because signs aren't in Helvetica. That's the telltale mistake that's just like Vancouver or something. Lousy company, aren't I? We are too far down on ourselves. We need to stop this. I don't know why no, 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 no more bad self-talk. Ugh. I'm, I'm aware I'm talking myself out of this. I'm talking to game me out of this. Now we just better than this hot mess. No! At least we're hot. Eventually we arrive at our destination. A little arcade themed restaurant. Combining games and alcohol and dining one tiny package. Here we go. I'm usually excited to be the to I'm usually excited to be going to some run down little dive. Juniper hurries on in without me dragging Naomi with her. Exactly! Hot mess is still hot, thank you very much. As I describe myself as a hot mess on more than one occasion. It's literally in the tail. Ah. Surprise! Is this a surprise party? Please? Is this place even open for business yet? None of the lights are on. Uh, yo. This is unnecessarily creepy. Before I wonder what, if a giant animatronic bear is going to leap out and eat my face. That's a Five Nights at Freddy's reference. I understand that reference. House lights come up. <laughs> Happy intervention day. <laughs> oh, I love it. Kids crack me up. What? What she said. We're staging an intervention on your behalf. And we're also having a wake for Francine since we uh, we weren't really welcome at her funeral and we couldn't really hang around for the ceremony. Yeah, we didn't get the chance to heal properly considering Deco kicked us all out before we could really do anything about anything and here we are. So it's awake and an intervention. A wake intervention, maybe? Thank you, Ashley. I was literally about to say that. A wake intervention, really? Mundo. Yep, it was all my idea. Well, my iris came up with the idea and gave me all the contact information I needed. So, like, basically my idea. 
Just the thing to pick you up when you're feeling down. I was gonna say, the others are here. <gasps> Queen B, that jacket looks good. Is that your new, the new jacket, the new team? I'm still flirting with her obnoxiously, it's fine. Ser really, seriously, kid. You've been such a damn sad sack ever since things went to hell. Which I get, believe me, but it ain't healthy. So we went ahead and rented out this place for the afternoon to bring back the fam to bring the family back together. For you, for Francine, for all of us. And now they know why we're all gathered here today, let's get this party started. Tio drags me into the group of my friends, positioning me at the head of it all. Leaving me a little bewildered, honestly, but trying to defend myself all the same. Hey, I no, I'm with you. I just need I just need the games that I play to support polyamory, that's all. Because then I can have everything. I can have healthy, happy relationships with all of them. And communicate that with all of them. And just be cute. But adorable. But also, yes, getting railed by the queen. So <laughs> keep priority there. Why don't look. Yes, I do need an intervention. I'm not even saying that. No, we don't get to have nice things. No, we can't have things. But that's because we break them and then we have to buy them and it just gets very expensive. And we defy the universe. We're going to help you defy it too. Yeah, that's for life. So one by one, we're going to tell you how awesome we are and exactly why you are so awesome. And by the end, you'll be feeling a lot better, I hope. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. I know I've been lousy company, that's okay. Fine, bring it on. Allow me to begin then. When you first entered the funplex, I had my doubts, but naturally I'm a, but I'm a naturally suspicious person, and thankfully those doubts were easily disproved by your, your skill and enthusiasm. You came looking for your dream and found it. I swore to protect that dream, and I promise, and that promise is what brought me here today. And on your very first day, you went head first in the most chaotic situation the funplex could have offered, a birthday party. You did so without hesitation. Put your body on the line, protect the others, and the Great Cupcake War of 2000 began! They were just cupcakes, Gavin. I am attempting to over the event for comedic effect. Please allow me this moment of humor. I am otherwise a stone-cold robot. When a disruptive parent was screaming at a child over something that wasn't his fault, you stepped in and dealt with it. Again, no hesitation. Impressive. Since becoming an event manager without goading, without prompting, showing great ambition. You turned the funplex's fortunes around, giving all, giving it your all to promote it. You made your dream a reality. For years, I was supposedly in charge of the funplex, but really all I accomplished was shuffling numbers around. You are the one that helped it soar. Gavin! Jamie, I love you. I'm going to take those down for later. <laughs> I'm going to go look those up. Because <laughs> now I'm real curious. And for that, you have my thanks. You're an exceptional individual. That fact remains true, regardless of whether you can see it for yourself. Me! Remember when I screwed up and didn't tell you about the job opening at my office? Yes! You weren't mad. Not even a little bit. Not even quietly mad. I was quietly mad. Yeah, that's for life. I know I can count on you. You can count on me. Even when one of us makes a mistake. Can never shake that friendship of her. When I came to you wondering if I should leave that job I hated, you told me to follow my dreams. You gave me great advice and I've never been happier. I follow suit, chase my own dream. You inspire me. Hello. Hello. We haven't seen these boys in forever. Please tell me you brought donuts. Are we fashionably late? In the flesh. Ooh, what if, what if? Unless this world is a vast simulacrum, in which case we are in trouble. I miss the gay coffee men. What, what? Then we're just all brains in jars? Could be, could Well, be. isn't that something? Well, if that's the case, Parker's the cutest little brain in a jar we ever actually met. Boys! I love you. It's true. They brought so many cute ideas, cute dates to our little shop. You're welcome. So nervous at first, but in time, they became part of the Twin Pines Mall family. Dearly missed. Ugh, don't remind me. Our new neighbors are so boring. They never come in for a treat or a read. Speaking of treats, we brought cake! Yes! Boys know how to get to me. It's always with cake. I'll, I'll just be over here getting the goodies ready. Don't mind us. Ooh, cake. I mean, my turn! Parker, you are a true friend of the fun so frustrating. Unlike the bastards that own it now. Positivity, Naomi. We're emphasizing positivity. We can go back to the where I positively punched him in the face. 
Back at Donnawood, you convinced Gavin to get some games I really wanted for the Funplex, and... Wow, you even brought home a Wyvern Keep. What a find. Wonderful. You're a friend of arcade games in general, just like me. Even if you don't love them at a fanatical level, like me, I know you love them all the same. I know you're not happy with how things turned out. I'm not really happy about it either. It sucks, but we did good things together in the time we had. Hamza has arrived. Hamza! My love, I've missed you! I don't know why you're my other love in this game now, but you are. You're late. <laughs> Kathy! Hamza is never late. He arrives ex exceptionally when he was supposed to. <laughs> the event does not truly begin until Hamza makes his presence felt. Ah. Uh. Oh, and good to know on the on those that are polyam friendly but not stream friendly. That becomes for my personal collection then. My blood burns. Parker, Hamza understands your fury, the hated enemy of all who love arcades, despoiled your funplex. Hamza, Hamza, can you help? Can you help a me out here? Could you help a Fay out here from like? However, in our short time together, I saw a burning spirit in you. I accepted your offer to for Wyvern Keep, recognizing that passion with you. <laughs> Hamza would be shamed forever if he did not intervene and raise your spirits to new heights, and that's what he shall do. Ooh, cake, excuse me a moment. Hamza is, is all. When do I get cake? Soon, but I have things to say first. Things that will hopefully inspire you to be a happy clam instead of a grumpy guess. But I am a happy clam, there is cake. From our first day at the Funplex together, you've been supportive of me, even after I gave you quite the scare with Pinky. You didn't let that bother you. From the moment we've tackled so many a crisis on the Funplex floor together. Amazing! I adored you when we concocted hypothetical adventures on our downtime. You're amazingly fun to be around. You worked so hard to make the Funathon successful. Thirstathon. I watched you put your blood, sweat, and tears in that. In the end, it all came together just how you planned. As the floor attendant on tour duty tour, as the floor attendant on duty during the Thirstathon, I got to see firsthand all the smiles you brought to all those people. You rocked it. I saw you helping the customer when their game crashed. Losing your high score due to faulty electronics is no fun, but you dealt with it. And you made that person's day. Even problem players like Steve are no problem for you. You took on the weirdest, most annoying problems without breaking a sweat. Incredible. You made the Funplex a fun place to be for everyone. The staff, the casual and pro gamers, for the families, and for me. I can honestly say that when you took over doing events at the Funplex, we've never had more fun. They've just been the best, all thanks to you. Also cake. This is getting cruel, guys. Hey, listen. Okay. Oh. <coughs> oh, God. Could they not voice this part? <laughs> I'm hurting myself. You trusted me when you didn't have to, but I'd already shown I was super bad at figuring out the right way to do things and really inaccurate with my percentages. I'm happy to be your assistant. I'm learning more and more how to be human thanks to you. I'm going to be so mad if there's no cake. Back in your pocket if you like don't set it on fire oh okay thank you the cake is not the cake better not be a lie and above all i love you until recently my life's been all about loving games but games you can't love you back it's a very lonely life to devote yourself to a thing entirely also yeah the cake is also an excellent reference through you, my world's opening up. I'm talking to people, trying to connect with them, instead of hiding in my little workshop, feeling more and more alive. If I'd never met you, I don't think I'd have ever felt totally complete. And I'd like to think I help you feel that way, too. Love this girl. Seems Parker has more thinking to do. This is pretty normal for them when they get that far away look. Shall we begin the wake for Francine, then? There's cake and coffee and spirits from the bar. Cake! Thank you. <laughs> None for me, thank you. I'm watching the blood sugar. Fuck me, this cake is maze balls. Now I need some rocking tunes to get this party on the next level. All of them here to support me, even without the fun plex, even after everything going wrong, after Francine being taken from us too soon. I never really thought of myself as central in all this. I was an outsider at first. The one who walked in those doors looking for a job, nothing more. I've always been on the outside, honestly. Moving from town to town, always the new kid. Never really important to anyone, not until I settled in one place just long enough to get to know Juniper. 
But by then, I'd come to expect I'd never be happy. So when I was finally happy, that got taken away. I guess I'd assume that's how things go. Go with the flow. I don't want this to end. I don't want it to be over. Destroyed by that asshole! And the loss of Francine. I just want this happiness to go on. Finally, I found something solid, something real. Okay, I need the people with money in this group to come together. We need to find something to purchase. We can do this. We can start again. We can own it and do it better this time. In honor of Francine. I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. We lost the complex. We lost Francine. It hurts. But what we have here today, I don't want to lose this. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I want my friends back. Who's with me? We're back, baby! The next hour or so, my sadness fades away piece by piece. We share stories, many of which I've never heard before, about the funplex and shenanigans that went on around it. Surprisingly, Ben and Matt spend the most tales about Francine's exploits. I am not surprised! We have already determined that Francine... Yeah, sick and tired of being sick and tired is an absolute mood that I embody on a regular basis. But also, we have been through the fact that Francine has had many a lover, and she has killed most of them. So Ben and Matt are gonna have all the dirt on that one. Oh yeah, they, they will. And I love them for it. So-called Wake Revention gives us all a chance to heal and to bond. For all we've lost, all we still have, we are still together. Despite one little problem which nobody wants to talk about. We don't talk about deck. Oh no, no, no. We don't talk. Anyways, I'm good. The hour goes late and we only have, and we only have this place rented for the afternoon. You can feel it in the air, that unspoken worry. Will we see each other again? No doubt we can arrange more get-togethers, but they all be reunions over what was lost, not really building anything new. Nostalgia, not progress. Without the thumbplex, without Francine, will we eventually simply fall away? The dark little thought troubles me as I swirl my drink, reminding Cryo all this talk. Sup? I'm glad you're feeling better. Iris, I need you to hack some stuff. So, do you want me to start finding you a new job? I can search while you're talking with your friends, no problem. I want my dream back. I want my dream. Not just four walls and a bunch of games, but a community. When I was a lifeguard, I'd save lives. I'd made the place safe for people to enjoy the pool and friends. I'm not done with that dream, and more importantly, I don't have to be done with it. All around me are pioneers of this community, this culture. Technicians, designers, enthusiasts, inventors, people with connections. T.O. Baby. Alright, guys. Can you search for commercial spaces? One's for lease or rent. Hmm. Uh, of course. I'm a little search wizard. Why? Oh, I know. Guys, we're gonna fight fire with fire. AK, we're gonna... We're gonna best that bitch is really what I'm going with here. Yes! Funplex 2 Electric Boogaloo, baby! Fight fire with Funplex! I'm using this because I always say, what like, blah blah 2 Electric Boogaloo. I don't know why. Gang, here's a wacky idea. We act like creatively bankrupt Hollywood and crank out a sequel. We act like a creatively bankrupt Hollywood and crank out a sequel, but in our case, it's a sequel to the Thumbplex. I'm not ready to let this party stop, so I'm not gonna. I'm opening up my own arcade, a sequel to outshine the original. What do you think? Are you ready to walk away from all this, or do you want to take a, the ridiculous option and make this happen? Yes! I'm down with ridiculous. Life's no fun if it's not ridiculous. Our own arcade, an arcade made by us with everything we could want in an arcade. The more I think about it, the more I love it. It's a tempting prospect. A crew still needs a new home, and I'd rather it be one spearheaded by you than anyone else. You show nothing but support for our community. It's time game if you are. This is no longer awake. Yes! This is so my jam now. This has been the wildest roller coaster of a stream, you guys. It is now a conspiracy. A Richter conspiracy? Ashley, stop it. I thought it would be cute. It's not. We settle down around the table, a nice round one, to discuss the future. 
<laughs> I'm leading the show. That sounds like something I would accidentally do. Like, that's not off-brand for me. This game is on-brand for me as a human. It's very weird. Not this time. We all have to work together to make this dream a reality. This is it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. The next few decisions are going to be critical in shaping the future I have in my mind's eye. I'll need to choose very, very carefully because there's no take backsies. Iris is looking for, for spaces we can use. We're going to need money, obviously. Arcades are risky startups. I can always resp <laughs> respond to one of the many Nigerian princesses emailing me amazing offers, but more traditional funding is better. The way I see it, there's four people who could foot the bill to get us off the ground. Hamza, you've got a tangled web of connections in the industry, access to games, and plenty of cash, and a freewheeling whimsy to spend it. Hamza must consider this. I love Hamza. Percy, even building a charity war chest for when for when you pass. I know an arcade isn't a sound investment, and it's hardly a charity, but. Why? Percy. Ben, Matt, you two know how to run a small business. You've got invaluable knowledge and resources you could draw from if you're willing to dip a toe in this industry. Mm, we have been looking for new horizons to conquer. New lands to There would be caveats. Terms. Conditions. Exemptions. Rules. Guidelines. Best practices. Worst practices. That's not a thing. Oh. <laughs> Hamza would likewise have conditions. As would I. Understandable, of course. Let me hear your thoughts and I'll decide. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. 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 You got you know okay, guys, you know what? You know what? Um Yeah, we're overriding the same. It's fine. Um, you know what? This is where we're pausing. This is where we're pausing for the night, because I think this is where we're baking a bunch of big decisions. Uh, because it quite literally just said that. So what is it the weakest link thing? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to pick this up on Thursday. Um, we're going to pick this up on Thursday. And we are going to Shark Tank vibe. Yeah, basically. We're going to pick... So basically, new game, conspiracy. We're going to tear down Deco's mansion. Not mansion. Stupid place. Uh, from the outside by building our own bigger, better, more beautiful... Hotter, faster, stronger, still hotter <laughs> arcade. But I think that involves some big decisions. So I think let's, we've had enough emotions for one day. We've had enough big decisions. We've had enough. I think we've just had enough. And so I think we'll pick this back up on Thursday. Um, this game is a wild ride. I think this is the best place to stop it for the day. Also, obviously I've gone over my usual, not that I mind ever, but like I need pizza. I'm gonna go emotionally sagey myself with garlic bread and chicken wings and pizza. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for a wonderful night. Thank you to, if Ant's still here, thank you earlier for the raid. Thank you guys for being here, for going through the emotional train with me. Um, much love to you all. Please take care of yourselves. Please go drink some hot water and honey like I'm about to do. Because I have gotten angry with this. Uh, and come back on Thursday where we're going to plot overthrowing a government. Well, not really a government, but like a dictatorship or something like that. We're going to go overthrow capitalism in its own way. We're going to go tear him down. And it's going to be good. And we are now motivated. <laughs> it's actually raw. It's gonna hurt me. Oh god, corporate monopoly. We're gonna go destroy it, decimate it. It's gonna be fun. Anyways, thank you all for being here. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Rawr. Good night. Bye.